Ah. Hey, uh, am I um, not muted? Because I think the music is too loud. Hang on. Uh, hey, what, 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 what's up? How's the, how's the music now? We'll just turn it down a little bit. Where's my chat? I've lost it. Oh, God, how do I, how do I stream? Hey, guys. Um, how's the jet lag treating me? Actually, not too bad. It was pretty bad yesterday, but I woke up today at 7 a.m. So it's actually not bad. Priya Malik with the uh, 11 month resub tier two. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a little bit sick, which is unfortunate. I, I'm less sick today. Like a, yesterday I was much worse with like cough and cold and all that. I look really tired though. Well, thanks. That's so nice of you to say. Would you like me to say that? No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I am tired. No, don't get me wrong. I'm tired. I'm very tired. Also, I feel like we need more light. Oh, there we go. It makes me look less tired if there's more light. Ugh, it's also really warm in here. Um, yeah, so today's stream, uh, because here's the thing. So I, what does that sound? Oh, I was like, what? Hang on. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if you heard that, but I was like, nee. It's like the printer was turning on because um, when I turn on the lights, it turns on the power for other, like, because that printer's obviously plugged into the same power board as the lights. So it turned that on. Um, hey, thanks, uh, Oblivion Lights, for the 11 month resub as well. So close to one year, you should know I love you enough to still pay for this, even though I don't have a job right now. Oh, well, thank you so much. But I mean, if you, if you need the money, you should probably keep the money. But thank you so much for the resub. Um, play me a memory. Uh, resub for 15 months. Thank you so much. Now, what was I saying? I was saying stuff about, yeah, so Sims Camp in London, that was uh, on the 17th. Hey, Kate, how you doing? Um, and then, so I was in London until Sunday the 21st. So I flew back on Sunday. Um, <clears throat> and while I was flying home, the embargo for the content from Sims Camp lifted. So I was like, I basically had to either, like, I had to make and edit the videos while I was over in the UK. And it turns out I didn't actually get that much time. So that's why I did the one, I did the one video, like the house build video. And then I did the, um, the sort of ball pit interview as well, which was kind of easy to edit because that wasn't that much. But then I have so much other footage from Sims Camp and I don't really have time because in less than 24 hours, I'm flying up to Melbourne for PAX Australia. So I was like, you know what? Let's just sit down. Let's just watch through the like two hours of footage I have. Let me jump away. How much, how much do I have? Uh, I have uh, exactly two hours, 46 minutes of um, Sims 4 Get Famous content. So we're going to be watching through that essentially. And we'll just chat about it. Uh, you guys can ask me questions about it, all that kind of stuff. Sorry, I'm a little bit sick. So I might be like coughing or whatever, but um, I'm trying, try and keep it, try and keep it good. Uh, and thank you, King Jan, for the uh, two-month resub, and E E poked ninety six for the uh, prime sub as well. Thank you so much. Uh, you're going to pack stars? Is Delhi still going? Well, I assume Delhi's going. She lives in um, Melbourne, so that'd be surprised if she didn't go. Um, thank you so much. Uh, Megan5980 for the 16 month resub, Amanda aims for the 100 bits, and pierced the sham for the uh, prime sub. Um, let's watch past James for this and we'll get famous. Yeah, so this will be interesting because uh, the way we're going to do this, it's going to kind of be like, we're basically just going to watch through the footage, and I guess I'm going to be like, hey, l that's why the title's like, let's play, because it's like, we're playing, but not really. I don't know. We'll, we should be able to see some cool stuff. Also, I need to... How do I do this? I need to do the game changes thing. Oh, that's the worst way to do that. Can I add an image overlay? Thanks to EA Game Changes for making this possible. See, I did it, Kate, but I don't have the logo. Hang on. I have the logo, but I don't have it set up on stream. Uh, how do I... How do I... How, how do I... How do I uh... Add source. Here we go. Image. Add new image. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really prepared. Good job, James. Oh, thanks, Kate. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta get the image first. Oh, there we go. Jesus. <laughs> Brought to you by EA. Wait, sorry. Hang on. No, wait. Can I make this? Can I make this any bigger? That's the real question. Wait. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Hang on. 
Presented by... Game... Oh. Changes... EA. How come the how come in the logo the EA is afterwards? Because I thought it was is it called EA Game Changers or is it Game Changers EA? I always thought it was Game EA Game Changers, but the logo seems to suggest otherwise. There we go. So you presented by Game Changers EA. Actually, make it so <laughs> it covers your face. Best stream ever. <laughs> hey guys, I am not um <laughs> I'm not sponsored by EA. I mean, to be fair, this is not. Yeah, Game Changers isn't a sponsor anyway, so I can be mean about the game if I want to. I can say whatever I want. In fact, you know what? I don't like you, Kate. No, I love Kate. Kate's lovely. I couldn't say that. That's mean. Uh, <laughs> um, Alright, we, we don't need that logo anymore. It's been more than- it's like you have to show for five seconds or something, and then, um, all that kind of stuff, and say it's presented by the game. Yeah, but anyway, so obviously EA sent me over to London, we played, uh, the, uh, the new expansion pack, and I have a bunch of footage of it, and we're gonna be going through it, and doing all that kind of stuff. Um, right, so if I go, let me get my, where's my stream deck? Uh, I, oh, actually, you know what, bef no, before I do stream deck, I wanna open up, um, my own OBS and recording stuff, because I'm gonna record this, and then probably edit this into a stream, no, edit into a stream, no, edit into a video for YouTube, so it'll be a more cut down version, uh, for YouTube later on. So, how do I do this? That's a really good question, because I did not plan this out. How do I record my face cam? Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to have to edit the stream. Never mind. Whatever. I'll just record the stream. <laughs> Alright, so if I hit record on the stream, where does that record to? I think that goes... Sorry, I'm just still working this out. Hey guys, I got home from London yesterday, so working stuff out. The good thing is, I still have um, all my content pre-recorded and scheduled until, like, next week anyway, so... At least I don't have to worry about doing that. Uh, I think this will record... ...to... ...not there. To my Twitch folder. Just double-checking this recording, sorry guys. Uh, it's recording. Pro streamer. Yep, yep, uh, that's what they call me. Mm, no, they don't. That's why I don't stream that often. Um... Did I, uh... Hey, Sky Just subscribed, thanks so much. Um... Must have hella amount of space in your hard drive. Oh my god. Um... I mean... I have a lot of drives. None of them of which are hard. Actually, except my network storage, those are all hard drives. Alright, I think this is recording now. Yes, it is. Good. Um, cool. Alright, so that's recording, and then I'm gonna go to this button. Hey! Oh, yeah, that's me. So, here's, here's how we're gonna do this. Um, oh, where did, oh wait, I think it's hidden. Yeah. So this is actually, this is what I thought would be really, so I'm using VLC, just the video player. So I found that you could do this, um, the dynamic zooming. So I figured that that would actually be really useful later on when we want to look at stuff closer. Like it allows me to just zoom in quite easily, which is good. So anyway, let's zoom back out. We don't need it right now. Um, hey, thank you, Unaffected95, for the uh, Prime sub. All right, well, you know what? I'm going to start playing this footage because honestly, we're just in Creator Sim right now. We don't really need audio in this. Um, I don't really do much in Creator Sim. I, so we were actually allowed to bring our own uh, save game files and all our own like stuff so we could continue our save games. Mm -hmm. And I totally meant to do that, but in the rush of recording like 40 videos in like three days before leaving, totally forgot to take my file. So I kind of recreated a really crappy version of myself sim. Um, so it, it looks nothing like me, but his name is Samaj Brenrut. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I mean, you'll see some get famous stuff in Creator Sim, but if you want to actually see proper Creator Sim, like overview and content, <laughs> this is definitely not where you want to see it. Um, yeah, so that's all that stuff. Hey, Gendo Sims with the 200 bits. Tell me, get famous unless you become a famous streamer or uh, on SimTube. And also, Kara Felmus with 100 bits, and K She Sim uh, with a 35 month resub to the to the guy that made it in the, the into a Sims trailer. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, so there's actually, we'll see it later on in, in about two hours time. There is like the, uh, the sort of streamer and YouTube station. Uh, I don't, that's not what it's called. I, I don't remember what it's called, but we'll see. Um, 
and from that you can make videos and you can do like video editing and then video effects it's like all this like, kind of separate stuff if you remember how um the dj booth works where you can make the track and then you can sort of and then it sort of goes in your inventory and then you publish it it's kind of like that with the um the streamer station so we'll see that uh, a little bit later on um hey and also kimmy one the seven month uh tier one resale <clears throat> sorry that i'm sick uh, Urban Sims did a cast overview. Nice. Yeah, go check out some other simmers. I know, yeah, so Jen clearly did one. I assume Deli did one as well. Yeah, yeah creative sim is not my thing. Uh, I just like, we just hang out here for a little bit. I select some clothes, all that kind of stuff. Um, you're so ready for this pack. Nice. <laughs> Curly. Curly with a 22 month uh, resub. Smart Run Rot sounds like an A OK dude. No. Post Sims Camp flu jams, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sim Guru Kate gifted a tier one sub to uh, Dutch's Gummy Buns. Nice, thanks, Kate. Yeah. Delhi's got messed up. It's 480p and the aspect ratio is strange. LOL. Delhi. <laughs> is that actually true? Oh, man. Um, Hey, look, I'm looking pretty good. It looks nothing like me, but my sim looks great. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Dr. Gluon. How you doing? Welcome to the stream of Sims 4 Get Famous content. Um, I would be talking about more stuff in the game right now, uh, but I'm just picking clothes, and they're not even Get Famous clothes. They're just clothes from the catalog. So, you know, we'll keep doing that for a little bit. Um, hey, Greasy Shoe 22 with the Prime sub. Thank you so much. My, um, sleeve is slipping. Do you like, I'm drinking out of my, oh god, it's so bright. Drinking out of my Sims coffee. Okay, that's too bright. My little, they gave us these reusable coffee cups. Um, and I always use this now at my coffee shop. So it's good, but my little, I've been playing with it. So I'm, this is coming off, I need to put it back on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is pre-recorded content. So this is, um, I have like 2 hours 40 minutes of footage from uh, Sims Camp uh, the other week. Looks like a sippy cup. Yeah, it's like the, um, uh, you can get them in stores and all that. And you, at most coffee shops, if you use like your own cup, you'll save a bit of money as well. Because you save the environment. Oh, also, I don't know if we, re uh, you know what, I'll, I was gonna say, I, we don't really need the music. Um, in this stream. I'll keep it on for now just because we're in creator sim and we're, like once we get into gameplay I turn off the music because some of the sounds are actually quite cool uh, once we get into the game and all that but oh yeah so they actually did change the um the sort of aspiration uh UI a little bit you'll see there like it now it's like squares I think it used to didn't it used to sort of pop up around each of them I guess it's because some of the aspiration or I guess some what even are these are these like because it's like aspiration I don't know it's like a group of oh. There's like aspirations and the aspirations in the aspiration. I guess there's a group of aspirations. Anyway, they changed that little UI element. <laughs> so, in case you're interested, that changed. Um, yeah, so there was the... Uh, actually, yeah, well, I didn't even mention what the aspirations were. Because there was a couple of new ones. What were they? There was... Um, uh, one of them was being, I think, a famous actor. And then I think it was just being a celebrity or something like that. So, world-famous celebrity. Uh, it was become a illustriously famous and then the other one I think was in creativity which I guess we'll see in a second like, so which one was oh here we go and the master actor yeah so I think those are the two new aspirations I think it's just a two so I feel like yeah I was like this no, we're not really looking at anything but yeah those those are the new, and, and then there was a couple of new trades I think self-absorbed I was like well I mean that makes sense how could we not do that <laughs> How could we not do that? That's good. That's gonna happen. Um, Jay Waffles with the Prime sub as well. Thank you so much for that. And what, was there another trait, or is it just that one? I can't remember now. Uh, Princess Darkness Seven, with the uh, two-month resub on Prime. Thank you. We appreciate it. This trait is based on Samaj. <laughs> nice. I mean, look, I'm not surprised. Um, what am I doing? So I did self-absorbed, ambitious, and creative. That sounds like me. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be checking out the uh, the Wabbit tablet. No, that was just reading the text. So we're gonna be obviously moving into the new world, uh, which is Del Sol Valley, which, ooh, controversially only has 11 lots. Uh, it's been a hot button issue in the Sims community. Um, which, I mean, I get it, because like, the, the, last, what, the last world we got was 
for Jungle Adventure, right? Which is like Selva Dorada, which is not even like a regular world. Because uh, Seasons didn't have a world. And then, so the last, I guess the last actual residential world was, actually, you know, let me just pause this here. The last residential world was uh, Brindleton Bay, which was pretty big. That was like 16 lots or something like that, I think. Um, and then, so then this is the new world. But each, uh, so we got the, obviously we got the, um, what is that, Mirage Park and then the Pinnacles. So we got the large sort of mansion location up here and then the sort of more, uh, I guess, starter home area down here. And then the, just like the, res uh, not residential, the commercial area here. So there's only really two residential neighborhoods and they only each have three lots, which is, uh, is strange. Um, I, I would classify that as strange. Especially this one, when we get into this area here for Mirage Park, it definitely seems like there could have been just more lots. Like, it could have at least been like five, because that's what... And then what it is in, um, like... Yeah, like Willow Creek and all that. The first ones are like five in each little area. Um, so, yeah. We only... So we only really have six new lots. Uh, and it, I think it's kind of... It, um, oh yeah, no, actually, so there is a neighborhood here, but you can't just travel to it. Uh, so this is where this sort of, uh, movie studio is, like the, the sound stage. So you go, you get, it's like the get to work careers. Like you travel there with the job. You can't travel there outside of the job, if that makes sense. Um, and that's a really cool lot. And we will be seeing that later on as we get further into this. So that, that, I guess that is there as well. So there's technically like four neighborhoods. One is only accessible through the career. Um, but yeah, so that's how that works. And I guess it, it's kind of annoying in the sense that, um, so the last, uh, yeah, the last world really was Brindleton Bay, which was what, this time last year? Cats and Dogs, whenever that came out. Um, it's a, the thing, it's a, it's, um, it's a shame, I think, because the world is actually super nice. And you'll see, if you haven't seen my, my build, my house build video that I already did, where we did it in Mirage Park, the world is actually really, really nice. And it's like super detailed. So it's kind of a shame that we can't have more homes in it. Um, <laughs> like that's kind of the sad bit about it. It's like, I want to live there more, but I don't know. We'll see how we go. I mean, look, we'll see how we go when the game's actually out. Um, Ace Pin, uh, with the, uh, Prime sub just a minute ago. Thank you so much. And also, uh, David C3 with a thousand bits. Thank you so much. So here we are in, uh, Mirage Park. Oh yeah, this is the first thing I noticed. Like all the cars everywhere in this world parked on the roads and there's like the um the sort of vfx cars driving around which we have we've had those cars driving around before in the past um like on roads in the background like even in like windenburg and all that but like this is what i'm talking about like i mean the world looks super nice it's a shame that there aren't more lots in it and look how many cars are parked everywhere like what what are you doing why are there so many cars everywhere if you're constantly like nah there's not gonna be cars <laughs> nah Nah, there's no cars, but we put cars everywhere. Um, like everywhere. Like it's not even just like one here or there. They're just everywhere. Um, so I think in this area, we have, so there's this lot and then the lot next door to it to the right, I think. This one here. I don't know. I don't know if I get a better view of it. I didn't really plan it. When I was playing this, I didn't really plan out. Um, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Let me turn off the music. We don't actually need the music now. Um, so when we, when I was recording this, I didn't really plan on showing the world. So I, I really wish I could just control this. Kate, send me code early so I can control this properly. Um, yeah, so there's a lot next to it. And then I think one across the road. So yeah, here's the thing. There's like cars just everywhere. And then there's like, dri they've like built in driveways into the world as well. It's like, what? Like, I mean, they've constantly said <laughs> there's not cars. Well, there's definitely not cars in this pack. Like, that's 100% true. There's no cars in this pack. But, I mean, like, if you're not planning for cars, then wh what is all this? Uh, you know? <laughs> come, come on. <laughs> now you're just shoving it in my face. Um, Meg with a two-month uh, primary sub. Thank you so much. And Alik357, 100 bits. Hey, mate, gonna answer the question in your Insta story? I'm curious. Oh, uh, when I was like, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, I don't know. Like, I asked that because I was like, I, I don't even know. Like, for me, I would want to own my own place, um, you know, be set up for the future. I have, in terms of like what I'll be doing for work, I don't know. Hopefully, still YouTube. I don't know. Um, Sensational39. The two month resub and pickled cats at the 11 month resub. Enjoying your stream. Well, thank you so much. Um, so, this part of the stream, uh, we're going to be building, I think, for a lot of this, which was in the house build video. So, we can skip through this, 
but I think it might be good to actually, because I think we'll get, we'll be able to see some of the stuff in the catalog that might have been harder to see in a speed build. So, and besides, we can just hang out, answer some questions, have a chat and all that as well. So, you know, any questions about stuff that you're seeing, I'm sure we're going to answer quite a lot of it. Um, also, Gendo Sims of the 100 Bits went in for them to drop the Surprise Vehicle Stuff Pack. Uh, right? That'd be so good. Oh, this is the legit first thing I did. <laughs> Terrain. Terrain! How good is it? I'm, I'm actually so excited for the terrain update. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be really, really good. Um, and Lacey216 with the Prime sub, and Akanaj with the Prime sub as well. Jessica Rabbit with the 12 month Prime resub for a whole year. Thank you so much for that one year resub. Um, are the alerts gonna be in the YouTube video too? I mean, no, I'm gonna edit around them. Um, because like a lot of this, we're not really talking about much anyway. Um, I'll do what I do with normal uh, whenever I edit streams on YouTube. I always just edit out the alerts and all that. I mean, this face cam stuff will be on YouTube, but you know, whatever. That's fine. Um, yeah. So the uh, the terrain, I'm I'm pretty excited for, uh, and that's kind of what I. The thing is, I wanted to spend so much more time with the terrain. Uh, like so much more time, but I was like, we had, we only had four hours to play the expansion pack. And this isn't even really in the expansion pack. This is just in the update that everyone's going to get. So I was like, well, I probably, should. I was like, so I was like, okay, I'm going to start off with a build, uh, and just do a really simple one. And I was having fun. I was trying to figure out the, I was trying to figure out the hotkeys, I think at this point in time, uh, and figure out how to like sort of set stuff up properly. Um, and I'll do when, when the terrain is out, I'll do like a tutorial on it. Cause I noticed a lot of people saying that um, the, the tools seem really complicated and, and they're a little bit confusing. I don't think they, I, to be honest, I don't think they're complicated at all. I think they might be a little bit daunting because there's like a lot of controls and a lot of different settings you can do with it. But the thing is like you could do really basic stuff or you could get into the sort of more power, power user tools with it, especially when it comes to doing the sort of... Um, when, if you do the second level build, bring it down to the ground, build a bridge. Like there's a lot of kind of advanced stuff you could do, or you could keep it really surface level. So I'll definitely do, be doing like a tutorial on it. Maybe even a couple, depending on how advanced we can get with it. But there's a lot of cool stuff we can do. Um, when does Get Famous release? Yeah, exactly. November 16th. That is correct. Uh, oh yeah, that was the other thing I want to do. I want to build the, uh, <laughs> the Parks and Rec uh, pit. Uh, and have, because Gluon, you, Gluon and you and I were talking about uh, having like Andy Dwyer live in the pit with a tent. <laughs> um, SF Pro TV with the Prime sub, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so at the moment, so we don't have, there's no like pond tool or anything, and they, they did mention in the terrain livestream a little while ago that that's something that they would like to add, but it's obviously not here in the, the update with terrain. So, um, I was just like, well, I can just use the fountain tool, and especially if we use, like, the colored water, which I'm currently struggling to find colored water, I think. Which I'm, I'm never, I'm not quite sure why the water color is not in the, uh, the fountain section as well. I don't, there's, I don't really see any reason why it shouldn't be, but... Anyway, you have to go to the pool section and get colored water. So I thought I'd make it like sort of a dirty green just so I could make it look, like look a little bit grosser. Hey, thank you, uh, Alik357 with 100 bits. Also, thank you so much for always uploading. Always look forward to your videos. Lots of love from Zurich. Hey, thank you so much for that. And a writer's mama with 100 bits as well. Thank you. You can build Anne's house in the same lot. Oh my God, totally good. <laughs> oh, that'd be good. Oh, that's going to be a fun build. Um, that'd be cool. I I've also got to figure out what I want to do for the actual, oh yeah, actually, before I talk about that. So this is, uh, so here, this is how we can build like bridges over terrain and that. So this is actually the second level of a house. So you saw I built up a level and then I went down, like I pulled the whole thing down, but it's still a level above and that's what it's going to allow me to build like a bridge over this. And you can see that I'm struggling to do it right now because I think originally it's too, I think it's too close to where the, um, the fountain is. So I have to lower the fountain. And then the new issue after this is I actually ran out of money, which I hadn't realized yet. I was like, why isn't this working? It's because I didn't have enough money. So I had to do a money cheat, <laughs> which I think I figure out later. I'm like, maybe it's still too close. Um, you see, I was like, there we go. And then I'm like, cool, this is working. And then in a second, I'm like, oh no, I don't have enough money. Anyway, I'll figure it out soon. <clears throat> yeah, the, the world here is actually super nice. I really, 
I, I really like the world. It's like, it's like really detailed. So that's why it's also kind of a shame that we only have three lots in this area. Like this whole cul-de-sac could have been filled with more lots. Um, Celia the Sema with the Prime sub. Thank you so much. Will I be doing a Rags of Riches with Get Famous? I mean, probably. i got to figure out what I want to do with that. Because um, I almost want to use the whole family, the whole Seasons family. But I don't know how I would do that. Because obviously we just got rich and we have a whole mansion. so And I want to use the mansion. So I was thinking maybe we can do... Because I was going to do like a... And I guess we still could. Oh, I don't know. No, I gotta figure that out. I gotta figure out what I wanna do with that. We're gonna do like the Keeping Up with the Big Wallet series, but I guess that's not really gonna happen now because by the time I start that, Get Famous will be out. Uh, so we might just do a Racks of Riches that also incorporates the whole family. So maybe we could have like Lady the Second kicked out and then she becomes famous and then she has this awful backstory being rejected by her family and they're already rich. And then later on, when she becomes famous, they try to get back into her life. I'm like, oh yeah, hey, how you doing, miss? You know, maybe something like that. Anyway, anyway, then all the the giraffes died, and then it turned into a bread shop. <laughs> That's unrelated. Um, yeah, so actually here, uh, I'm just looking for the uh, the sort of hotkeys for the terrain tools because it says uh, I was trying to figure out how because you could do a hotkey to set the. Uh, the height that you wanted to level terrain to, and you'll see you'll see me do it in just a second here. With because uh, there's the one this tool here with that little square in the middle, that's where the terrain is gonna level to. Super you oh my god, that rotation. Super useful tool. Uh, so you can see I can set exactly where I'd want it to be. And I think uh, I think originally I was just trying to level like the banks around the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And it's actually really cool. <laughs> Glue. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, so I was just trying to, because what I was trying to do, because the thing is, uh, as you saw, we had to have the uh, the fountain fairly low down underneath the house for the height to be able to work. So I was like, okay, well I, I want to try and like smooth it out all out and make it look kind of natural in a way. And uh, what people suggested in the house build videos, maybe that uh, this trailer was just placed on a hill and then subsidence happened. Anyway, there's a sludge pit now under the house. And rather than moving the trailer, they just put some supports underneath to try and keep it in place. Because, I mean, like, there's no reason you'd ever build something there. <laughs> like, why would you ever put that there? Anyway, it, it looks cool. I, the whole point was I just wanted to build something quickly with the terrain tools and have fun with them. Uh, before getting into all the Get Famous stuff. And that was kind of the idea of the build. I think it looks pretty good. That's something that was done really quick. Please play the marbles a lot. Um, uh, I can play the marbles a lot. That's marbles, baby! There we go. <laughs> uh... Sludge pit. Yeah, we got a bit of- we got a bit of a sludge pit underneath. There's no, um, there's no green goo or anything this time around. But, uh, yeah, so this is all- obviously all of this was in the, uh, the house building video if you guys watch that. So you might be seeing some of the same stuff again. But it's a little bit slower. And we still have way more footage after this as well. This is only the first clip of, like... I've got like five different recordings that we have to go through. Well, we don't have to go through them. If you guys get bored, we can stop going through them. So that's fine. It's up to you guys. Anyway. I still need that video. Oh, did I never send that to you, Glorn? <laughs> um, I thought I did. I can send it. You have to remind me. Oh, yeah, so at the moment, you know what? Hang on, if I click this, and the, oh, never mind. I was gonna zoom in on the on the cheat. Because I was trying to put in the cheat. Okay, well, never mind. This is kind of pointless now. Um, yeah, because we were using it again, an early build of the game. Like, this is by no means the final uh, build that they're gonna be releasing. Uh, we ha <laughs> They had like some weird things going on with the cheats where you had to like type something different. So I was getting confused with how the cheats would, would work in this. So I kept typing them wrong. Um, so if you see me keep like fumbling with cheats, that's why. Bob's Burgers Racks of Riches. I mean, that would probably would have been better with Dine Out. But um, I was actually watching Bob's Burgers on the plane though. That was cool. Uh, it's a covered bridge. No, it's a it's an old trailer that's just been dumped there on the uh, on the terrain. <laughs> Doesn't Richie want to be a chef? He can become a famous chef now. Yeah, see, I think what we'll do... 
is... I don't know. I've got to find a good. We've got to find a good way to be able to balance a series. I think we will try and because I want to play with the family and 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 do the acting stuff. So I think we'll get Lady to become an actor, and then we'll also still use the family. And then yeah, we could do like a famous chef or something like that with Richie. That's totally possible. We could do that, but it's gonna find out the best way to be able to do the series. Am I going to try and crash the game using terrain tools? Uh, probably not. Actually, what I will, what I do need to do now though, seeing as I mentioned it in my, uh, my ball pit interview video, saying I could make a better ball pit with the terrain tools, I'm going to have to do that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to do that and see how we go. Ooh, hello. Sorry. <laughs> don't, don't mind my goggles. That's just my, uh, my good old stomach being happy with life. Um, yeah, so I think I fumbled with the move objects here because I couldn't get it to work for a while. Maybe I figured it out now. Yeah, it was weird. See, like, because because we had this weird early build, you can see, like, when I entered the tree, it's like, it just says output. And I'm like, okay, cool. Did that work? Sure, why not? Um, yeah, so I was using, because we are just using the fountain, I was like, well, if I just place a bunch of plants around it, we can try and make it look a bit more natural than uh, having that sort of straight edge on it. Um, you know what would be cool is if they added, uh, cause we, you know, with like the, the fountain and pool trims, if they added in like a, a like a pool trim that was just like a, a landscaping pool trim, you know, like kind of around like the fishing ponds. Oh yeah. So all this stuff is really cool. So this, I think I might've even cut out of the house build video. Maybe I don't remember actually, but um, I was just going through some of the items. So there's like obviously a lot of the, so a lot of these giant pieces are like set pieces for like when you do the acting career um well, these are obviously big those are big um sort of what do you call them soundstage doors which i think they might they might be debug items because i did i think i did do the buy debug cheat at this point i can't remember that there is the live streaming and youtuber setup uh that these sims can use yeah so there's like a lot of this um set piece stuff is actually really really cool and i end up using a couple of them here on the lot just because they look interesting uh, oh, here. Now, now I'm thinking I'm trying to go through the bug. Half of this stuff isn't the bug, though. Uh, some of it is. That's not. That's just an item you can place normally. Yeah, so there's there's a bunch of stuff in here. And when, when it actually comes out, I'll probably go through this stuff properly. Like, I'll do the build by overview uh, like I normally would do. I just don't typically like doing them at events. Uh, and I've, I've done them in the past where I do like a build by overview at an event. But I end up wasting so much time doing that that I don't actually get to play the game. <laughs> so, so I was like, well, I'll, I'll wait till it comes out and we'll do it then. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff here. To, like, I, I'm really excited to just play around with the building. And like building some like movie sets and, and like studios and all that. And even some of the stuff you can totally use to build like... You could totally build a like cinema or something like that as well because there's like these big like old signs and like these um i guess like awnings that look like the front of a movie theater if that makes sense i don't know look it'll make more sense if i can actually build it <laughs> when i can actually build it um there's some really cool set pieces in, in the park um thank you melissa volant with a two-month resub very appreciated um i got a notification from Qantas. Good. Check-in for my flight tomorrow is now available. Cool. Thanks. Uh, don't need to worry about that right now. I start important. James is famous. That's how we got new Sims. Yep. Uh, pretty famous. Um, actually, speaking of which, did... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw... Sorry, I'm about to cough. That's why it sounded really weird just then. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys saw, but I... Uh, before I got on my flight home from London, I tweeted out, I was like, hey guys, doing a meetup on my plane. If you're on my flight, come say hi. And then I got on the plane and then the person sitting behind me, like I was just, uh, I was just getting ready to sit down and just like, James. And I'm like, oh, hey. And they're like, oh, I love your videos and that. And I'm like, oh my God. Well, I was like, what are the chances of that? Um, she was super nice though. Very, very nice. So that was quite funny actually. I'm pretty famous. I uh, get recognized on planes. I reckon, I reckon the, best one would be if you get recognized by like a flight attendant on a plane because then you could be like hey can you just keep just keep bringing me stuff you know uh just keep bringing the snacks keep them coming that'd be that'd be pretty good 
Um, can you can you have my autograph? Yeah, sure. Um, I'll send it. <laughs> um, so oh, actually, there was I don't know if we I don't know if we've seen it yet. Um, I really damn it. I wish I could control this because I, I there's stuff I want to show you, but there's no point in me trying to describe it unless I can just show it to you because it, it's just so much better if I can just be like, hey, look, look at this. So there's this thing I want to talk about. So I mean, it might come up in the next two hours of footage. So you know, we'll keep hanging out. It's all good. The build noise is suddenly so weird. Oh, that's sad. Actual plane made up. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm sorry. I started laughing and I started coughing. Uh, I'm still a little bit sick. I know, I was just reading the, um, <laughs> in chat. My stalker followed me onto a plane. Scary. That's like, that's a good story time video. That's what I should do. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. It's not even like, uh, that, that, I think that's totally like a story time that isn't even, like that you could totally blow out of proportion. Like, oh my god, they followed me on the plane and then, the, then they kept talking to me and I was like, oh my god, I think I'm gonna die. Um, no, that, w that was super nice. Not, not weird at all. Um... I think, yeah, actually this was really cool. So, normally when we go to like a Sims camp, they will have uh, the new expansion pack and the base game. And then that's all we have. But this time around we actually had the, like, pretty much, or I think it was every single pack in the game that we've had so far. So that's why I'm using a bunch of stuff from, I think, Jungle Adventure here as well. Just like a bunch of plants and all that around here. So I was quite happy about that. Also, I think I did, um... I think... Wait, let me check. I, I got my hard drive here. I think I brought my save game home with me. Which means... Oh, I did. Which means when the pack is actually out, I can get this lot and then upload it. So if you want to use this crappy trailer lot, feel free to do so. Um, I don't know if I was allowed to take my save with me, but I did anyway. I stole it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could clickbait the tr out of that. I don't know, right? A bit... Oh, I should do. Maybe... Someone asked me a, a question about, um, stalkers in my next Q&A video, and I'll call that video, like... <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> my fan followed me on a plane or something. Real. Scary. You did a good job of making the pond look more natural. Yeah, I mean, um, I would have liked to have more time to like landscape the entire lot and sort of make it look a little bit better. But else, at this point, where, where are we at? We're at uh, 25 minutes in and we had two hour sessions. So I had used almost half an hour at this point in like just doing my creative team and building a house. So I was like, I really don't want to spend more time doing this because I didn't want to, I didn't want to waste my time of actually playing the pack. So I would love to do more. But I think what I was able to do in the time was, it, it's it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so there's a few new things here, which I didn't really use. I, I The problem was, because I was trying to create a crappy, like, starter trailer. And a lot of the Get Famous stuff is, like, really opulent and really glamorous and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, I can't really use it because it doesn't fit this house. Uh, but you can see we have those two new stairs there. I'm actually using the new door there, and I can't remember if I changed that or not, but that's, that's the new door. Got the new roof texture on the little trailer as well. And thank you, Femme Fatale, for the prime sub. Very appreciated. Um, and then, I think, no, I don't think I use new windows, actually. No. Oh, oh man. Yeah, so I was going to use columns here as, like, stilts, but I think they stick through the floor, because it wasn't low enough. If I, if I like, lowered um, the, the fountain a little bit, then it would work. But I was like, you know what, I'll just use a different item. Aren't you an EA partner or something? No, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know what you mean by that, but um, I'm part of the Game Changer program, which is basically like any other company where they will just like give you uh, access to the games early with a code. They'll provide code so you can make uh, videos and prepare for embargoes and all that stuff. It basically is just a way of um, allowing you to sort of play the game early as a content creator. Um, and it's in no way the same thing as a sponsorship, if that makes sense. Because they have, uh, so the whole point of like EA Game Changers and that whole branding of Game Changers is so that it's separate from a sponsored video and they have like different logos for sponsored content 
And basically what it means is while I'm, while I'm talking about it, I might as well explain what it is and the difference is. So if something is sponsored by EA, it means that they have creative control over the content. So they can say, oh, can you change this? Can you edit that out? Can you uh, display this instead? They can ask you to like make the video the way that they want it because it's a sponsored piece of content. Whereas Game Changer stuff is they give you, uh, you know, access to the game early. They give you a code to the game. Uh, whatever it may be, but then you can make whatever you want with it. They can't tell you how to make the content. They can't ask you to change stuff, etc. So they don't have creative control over the content that you produce. If that makes sense. And that's much like um, any other sort of company as well. They might, like just the other companies don't name it anything. Or although I guess Nintendo has something. Don't they call it like creators? Nintendo something something? I don't know. Well, Nintendo takes money from you though. So Nintendo sucks. <laughs> no, Nintendo, Nintendo is so backwards. It's so annoying. Anyway, off topic. Oh yeah, this terrain painting was not going well right here. I was like, let me just undo all that and eh, let me try to fix that. <clears throat> um, I watched on YouTube mostly. Thought I saw some sort of label in your videos. Yeah, so um, we have to use the uh, uh, brought to you by EA Game Changers or like um, made possible by EA Game Changers when we. Uh, taken to an event to record content because obviously EA has um, provided travel and accommodation for the event. So then it's like, it's brought to you by EA Game Changers, but they don't have creative control over the content we produce from that event. If that makes sense. That's kind of how it works. Um, <clears throat> game Changers is a little sketch though, isn't it? I heard they blacklist content creators who are openly critical of the game. Well, that's just not true because I've been highly critical of the game and I've made lots of videos about the game talking about, um, you know, what's wrong with it and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's one of the, like, I think there's a misunderstanding with uh, being critical and then just being straight up uh, offensive and negative. And th there's a difference between, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, constructive criticism and just slamming stuff if that makes sense like if you are being um unnecessarily rude or just being negative well not even negative no negative is not right no if you're just being rude and abusive and that kind of stuff of course you'd be removed from a program like why would any company ever want to work with someone like that or just people in general why would you want to work with people like that you know what i mean like and um so be, and then there's also a misunderstanding where some people aren't part of the game changers program but then that's because they decided not to agree to the game changers contract of saying that you know <clears throat> you'll say you'll disclose when you've been given a code and etc anyway it's it's like it's not i i think there's a misconception about the the program if that makes sense it, it's it's really simple at it's basically, they give you a code, you tell people you got a code, and then that's kind of it. <laughs> that's the whole thing. Like, and I think in amongst all that, there's like all this misunderstanding, but that's all it is. Anyway, uh, just building the house. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's nothing really special about this house. It's I was just trying to do it quickly so I could play the game, because at this point, still didn't play the game. Um, oh, I do use the new flooring though. There's like the new Wild West wooden flooring that looks really tacky and old, and I loved it. Also, I believe I missed, did I miss Simply Callie with the Prime sub? And also Justin Thugrub23 with the Tier 1 sub. And then also Denala1982 with the Prime sub. Thank you. Very appreciate it. I love when James got his name put into the jungle plant. Oh yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> People who say you get, fr uh, wait, 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 what was that? <laughs> People who say you get free things to hype up the game have never watched any review videos, lol, of, of my videos, yeah. That's the thing, like, um, and uh, actually, that's that's another important uh, distinguishing factor with game changers. When you get to the point of being invited into something like game changers, you're a fan of the game, and that's why you're making content of the game. So then when you're invited to become a part of the game changers and you get given codes, of course you're already going to be positive about the game because you like the game, if that makes sense. So there's, there's going to be a natural bias of people in game changers that are more positive than negative. But that doesn't mean that those people can't also be critical of the game. It's just we're more likely to be positive because we're already fans of the game, if that makes sense. Because I think there's that, that also misunderstanding that game changers is like, oh, they only put in people that love the game. I mean, well, yeah, because if you hate the game, you're probably not making that much content on it, you know? 
and it's not like I don't know if that makes sense. Um, this is just that natural bias. I don't. It's not something that's done on purpose. It's just that most people making videos, and not just on The Sims, on anyone in game changers, like even like Battlefield or Battlefront or whatever. <clears throat> you're usually making the videos because you like the game. So because you like the game, you're probably going to be a little bit positive about it more so than, oh, I, you know, like more critical. But people are still critical anyway, and you don't get kicked out for being critical. That's not true. Um, <clears throat> are those even new windows? I wasn't even watching. Um, I can't remember if I actually placed new windows or not, like those ones there, because I think I might have placed just seasons windows. Please make the Grand Canyon. I mean, the biggest lot we have is 64 by 64, so creating a Grand Canyon would not be that grand. Still waiting for the untold story of my first pet stuff. I actually really want to do that. Um, when people commented that, I was like, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. I don't know. Kay, are you still there? Are you still like in the background somewhere? Who can I talk to about my first pet stuff? <laughs> I want to do a video about that. The not so Grand Canyon. That yeah, that's a good title. We could totally do that. So yeah, at this point, I'm just really rushing to just play stuff in this build because like I need to play the game quick. This is like the most. This is such a drab build, but that was kind of the point. It's not supposed to look good at all. That's why it's just gray and just like dirty, and that's it. Um, the Vegas version of Grand Canyon. That actually be really cool to create like a little Vegas inspired build. Have all these sort of like miniature var miniaturized versions of stuff. The Mech Canyon. It's awful, such a pointless pack. Well, I don't think it's pointless. I just, I just don't, I personally don't like it <laughs> at all and would never recommend people to get it. I don't think it's pointless because a lot of people still got it, but if it was cheaper, like a lot cheaper, <laughs> it'd be better. <laughs> For ten for ten US dollars though, I can't recommend that pack ever. Does the new world come with new sims? Yes it does. Once we get into gameplay, we'll actually see some new sims and see stuff happening. But at the moment we're still doing the build. I think we're nearly we're nearly done with it though, but there's not much more. And then we'll oh there's the new like sleeping pods as well. Which I use later on. I don't think I place them now. Also I got two new beds, like this really opulent one. And there's more sort of normal looking one. Now the bed doesn't really fit this house, but I was like, I wanted to use it again, because I was like, I kinda wanna use new items. But oh actually all this stuff is really cool. So there's like a lot of this new like wardrobe stuff is clearly designed for like walk-in robes. And I was like, oh man, like we I have to go back to the uh, the mansion I just built and put this stuff in the walk-in robe. Because I was like this is like perfect for it. I was like these are cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, hey James, your Swedish suckers. Well, you know what? Your English sucks. Oh! Um, of course my Swedish sucks. I don't speak Swedish. <laughs> uh, geeky nonsense with a 42 month resub. Uh, been a minute since I could catch a stream. Love the Insta story from this weekend. Well, thank you so much. And also, I did miss um, Gamer Girl Sam with the Prime sub. Thank you so much. Very appreciated. Um, Oh, and yeah, and again, I was like, I was like, I'm going to use this giant wall, like, decal thing, because it's new. <laughs> so I just put it in there. Uh, did I get to use the money vault? Yes, I do. That's way later on. Uh, I do have footage of it. It'll be when I cheat money and my fame level and we move houses to a mansion. Um, but we'll see that later. Um, the wall is beautiful. Any chance to get a code? Yeah, if you go to Origin and purchase one, you'll you should 100% get a code. Um, <laughs> but no, I don't have any giveaway. I don't even have my own code, so um, you're not gonna get one here. I can tell you that much. Do you know if there's a red carpet event? Um, I actually don't know how that stuff works because there's awards in this game, and I have no idea how that works. If you just get them like mailed to you or something, I have no idea. I don't know. Am I doing anything fun for Halloween? No. I didn't even... Uh, Halloween is so not a thing here. It just doesn't exist in Australia. <laughs> it's just like not a thing. Um... I wrote sucks right, your English sucks. I mean, you wrote sucks with an E, so you didn't write it correct, but anyway. Uh, moving on from that. Uh... 
I like that rug. Oh yeah, those rugs are really cool. Like the the sort of distressed old looking rugs. Also, I put this giant I don't I put this giant vent on the side of the house, and then I'm like, it kind of looks like a face. It almost looks like Squidward because you got like this giant nose in the middle. <laughs> the windows are eyes. Uh, is that a box you put on? Put the new the TV on new? No, that isn't that a box just from like base game. I don't think that's new at all. I wasn't, to be honest, I wasn't really even watching. I'll, I'll be watching the footage more closely when we actually get into new stuff. So yeah, I decided to put um, these, so these are giant movie sets, uh, which I assume would probably be used in the acting career. I didn't get to a point where we used these, but I was like, oh, these are really cool because it looks like a house is like collapsed. Like it's like a mansion that's collapsed or something. So I'm like, uh, as the story goes, there used to be a mansion on this lot, but then it collapsed. Anyway, now there's a trailer over a sludge pit. Um, so I put these in. You can see they're floating a little bit, so I actually just did a few like shrubs and that around here. Because um, I didn't I didn't want to change the terrain, because like, the, the terrain has like this nice smooth like hill. So I was like, you know what? I'll just put some um, shrubs in here just to cover it up. And that totally worked, so we went with that. Uh, can Sims interact with these sets at all? Um, I, I don't know. I didn't even try. I didn't even try clicking on the sets. I, if I had to guess, I would probably say no, because they're just a big set dressing, but I don't know. <clears throat> I haven't actually heard Sims 4 music in so long, it's slightly nostalgic. I never listen to Sims 4 music, I always have it muted, except for in this, because obviously I didn't mute it, but um, yeah, my own game is always muted, I never hear it. Can I honestly Squidward now? Yeah, no, right. <laughs> uh, did I ever find 10 out of 10 coffee in the UK? I tried coffee, at, like, not everywhere. I tried coffee a lot of places in London. London coffee was never that good. I did find, when I went to Cambridge, uh, my friend Ed took me to this place. It's like this super duper hipster place in Cambridge. It has no signage. It's just on the street. It uh, has a rule where you're not allowed to take photos in there. Well, I mean, I think you can take photos, but he really doesn't want them posted on social anywhere. Um, whoops. Um, so you're like, you're not allowed to post them on socials or like anything like that. Um, it's like, it's like super hipster. Like, I would have posted about it, um, but it was like, I don't know, he just doesn't want it posted. So I was like, alright, well, whatever. And the coffee was like really good. It was like, it was like having coffee, coffee? Coffee in Australia. It was good. No, I don't have a 10 out of 10. Could have been better. I'll give it a 9 though. Um, but I don't even think I'm allowed to tell you where it is. I, I don't know. Sounds like a sketchy operation. I know, right? That's what I was like as well. I, and and it's like cash only. So I'm like, okay, you can't post on socials and it's cash only. I'm like, yeah, but the coffee was good. So whatever. Um, hey, geeky nonsense. Uh, no, not geeky nonsense. I didn't mean to say that. Wait, wait, what was that that just came up? Was there a notification just then? I swear I heard it. Maybe it was like a super delayed one. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Uh, that's sus. Yeah, but the coffee was good. So who cares if it's sus? Um, okay, here we go. We're actually getting into stuff now. Actor career. Pause. Why did I go to... Oh, God, go back. Hang on, sorry. Okay, th this is where we're going to start looking at stuff. Um, <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I just clicked. What did I do? It. Oh, no! Go back to the beginning. All right, we're starting over again, guys. Okay, let me zoom out. <laughs> sorry, I'm getting distracted. Okay, where were we? We're here somewhere. Back a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, we'll uh, go back. I was like, I pressed something here. Oh, that's what I did, the audio track. I pressed B. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I want to be a world famous celebrity. Of course I do. Who doesn't? All right. Um, I just wanted to... Oh, adding to my Simstagram story. Which is a new thing as well. Actually, yeah, adding to your Simstagram story. And you get like followers, which I... Is that the same as the, the followers you have from like City Living? I don't know. Ooh, on the road to fame. So there is, uh, so basically there's a new skill. There's the acting skill and the, uh, I'm just gonna pause that. There's the acting skill and the, I think the production skill, music production skill. I'm not sure what it's actually called. So the acting skill is a 10 level skill. Um, and then the production skill is like five level skill. So it's shorter, uh, smaller. I think that's for, um, cause there's a music production station. And then I think the, uh, I think it might be used on the, um, the YouTube streamer station too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it's two different versions of social media, which is weird. Yeah, I found that I actually found that kind of weird. I'm like, they're kind of doing social media a 
again because it was in city living and then they're like doing it again in this pack but whatever um all right so yeah so it's, it's a new um interactive career uh, as you can see is so like the detective doctor and scientist it is fully interactive you can go to the venue and that's how it works uh which i actually thought was really interesting because usually when they've done packs like this in the past where you have the interactive careers you don't they don't typically go back and do another one um, so it's actually really exciting that they did that. I think it's cool. And I hope they do more stuff like this. Uh, so you can see here, actors, you know what? This is where I'm going to use my zoom. Oh, I did volume. Sorry, I'm going to use my zoom function so we can do this. Look at that. How good is this? How good is this feature? I just found out on here so we can read it a little bit easier. Um, actor, actors will need to join a talent agency, which we'll see in just a second after this. The spotlight calls, the cameras are focused and you're ready for, for your close up. It's up to you to breathe energy into the worlds of the script and really make the characters come alive. Median gig pay, 640. Yeah, so it's not like a regular job where you get paid the same amount. It depends on which gigs you take. It's like really different from a regular kind of job. And you'll see that as we get into it. Uh, it's like even different from the other ones. So we got these two, uh... Uh, talent agencies that you start off with which i think i well, i would assume there's going to be more as you get more skilled up and you can change them can i zoom in again this i don't know if there's hotkeys for this it'd be a lot easier than me doing it this way but whatever Ooh, there we go put that there um <clears throat> delhi's acting career was glitched yeah that was actually so if you guys i don't know how many um people spoke about it um but uh, the, the acting career was actually glitched on the day of the event because they actually had to... And that was the first time it had ever glitched because they had to make a special build for Sims Camp. And then the acting career glitched in the Sims Camp build. Um, but they were like, yeah, this has never happened before. And it really sucked because I couldn't do anything about it because we we're in London and not at the studio like we normally anyway whatever it shouldn't happen but it didn't glitch for me so that's good uh so ai staffing agency consider ai staffing applicant name our agents look forward to booking your unproductive time with work great <laughs> please enable notifications to stay informed on the latest job field opportunities benefits improved automated reminders maximize your time spent working and i assume i hover over the other one at some point too do i go to the other one we'll wait and see go to the other one oh Oh, 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 come on. Go back over it. No, no, no. Oh, damn it. Damn it, past me. I went over it for a second. Unless I went over it before as well. Hang on. I'm waiting for it. I'm on the, I'm on the pause button. Oh. There it is. Got it. <laughs> um, oh, that's such a late notification. Sadness. No. Oh, it's okay. You can go back and watch the stream. You can always go back. I just pause not thinking about how this is live. Oh, I'm sorry, Brooke. It is live. Um, <laughs> now, uh, so what was it? Yeah, so Everyday Extras Talent Agency. Our team has put faces into every wide angle crowd shot this town has ever filmed. Uh, we will find you work no matter how small the role. Benefits more auditions for commercial and daytime TV gigs. So yeah, they obviously have different um, benefits between each of them. Let me zoom back out again. Uh, hide that for a second. Uh, so once you join, so basically you join the job, then you pick a talent agency, then you go down over here and that's where you check for additions and then that will give you a list of current gigs you can take. And this will depend on what level in the career you are. Obviously we're level one, so we're going to get, uh, start off with really, ooh, really basic kind of stuff. So these are just like sort of commercials. Uh, well, this one's definitely commercial. This is, um, a music video, I think is what that is making music. So you just pick whichever one you want to do. And each of them will typically have a different uh, skill that you need to focus on. So obviously you want to be better at acting, but you will also want to like level up the skill depending on which audition you're going to go for. So if you had a if you had more skill and charisma already, you might be better off just picking the one that's already sort of got that skill. Or if you've got none of them, just pick the one you want to do. And oh, I zoomed in way too far. There we go. Um, I think I do the, the commercial to start off with. And you saw they had a range of what you can be paid. And it depends how well you actually perform in that gig. Uh, and, and that's how much you'll get paid, essentially. Now, there is this over here, but my face is in the way. Damn it. And I, I was having to zoom in and you can still see it, but you can't really. Here's what we'll do. I'll put that there. I'm going to go to my face. Can I move my face? Hang on. i got to unlock my face cam. Um, that one. Oh, it is unlocked. Oh, okay. That was easy. 
put my you know what put me over where the zoom is because you don't need to see that there now we can read that <clears throat> When will Max become famous? I don't know. Max is going to do a lot of stuff now. On the road to fame. Sims now have the ability to become celebrities. There are many different ways to become a celebrity. And as your sim progresses uh, in their skills and careers, more paths to stardom will become available. Some great ways to become famous include pursuing a career in acting or raising the media production skill via the video station or music station objects. So yeah, the video station is the one where you do the live streaming and you can make YouTube videos in the game. And then the media production one is where you can make uh, like songs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I didn't do too much of that. I do that like right at the end, uh, but I'll have to get into more of that when that actually comes out. Uh, so look for interactions labeled with plus fame. Each one of these will contribute towards becoming a superstar. Good to know. Thanks, game. Um, so yeah, that's that bit. Hope Max becomes an evil celebrity. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. You can actually... So fame also has reputation. And uh, hopefully I look at the skill tree soon because we can talk more about that. Uh, so there's like a skill tree, much like uh, vampires had a skill tree. It's a similar kind of one, and we'll see that as we get into it. But I think for now, and so basically what you do, you pick a gig, and then you, so in 9 a.m. on Monday, we actually have the audition, uh, which the audition is just something like, that's almost just like a regular job. Like you go to work, it's like you go to work, you disappear for like the hour or two hours, and then you come back. Um, I don't know if you can actually fail auditions in this. See, I would assume that you could, but I didn't fail any of them, so I'm not actually sure. Um, I don't know. Anyway, you go to it and it'll be like, you completed the audition, and then you'll have the actual gig the next day. So we'll see that. So at the moment, uh, we got the audition tomorrow, and I thought I would just sort of practice my acting in the meantime. Because uh, acting and charisma are separate skills, um, and that's important to know as well. You want to build both of them. Look, here's one of the brand new Sims. It's the Sim from the trailer. Amazing. But she's not actually famous yet. I think she's like what, a notable newcomer, I think she is. She came to say hi. Yes. Auditions are rabbit holes, so not fully interactive. I mean, the, um, yeah, but <laughs> um, Brad, all the, all the acting stuff is still interactive. I mean, I, I don't even know. Like, oh, yeah, this is cool. So this is what I actually wanted to look at. So you can see this is where I was like, oh, this is awesome. And I was like looking at it myself. <laughs> at like the boat and the, like the trailer and all that. Look at this stuff. Hang on. Look at this. What a, what a tease. Like how... It's teasing so much. There's like a truck with a trailer attached to it. And then I got a boat on a trailer as well. Like, come on. You can't just be putting this stuff in the world. And they're telling me that we're not going to be having cars. Like, look at this. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I love the new world so much. The new world is really, really cool. I just wish I had more lots. Steal the boat. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> you said the career is fully interactive just here. Yeah, I mean... I would still call it, okay, fine, it's interactive. We'll get rid of the word fully. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly, it's like, here's cars. Lol, you can't use them. I mean, okay, they have to be adding cars soon, right? Like, you can't just be having all this stuff. Now, actually, did I have a view that I don't, how good does this world look, though? Man. So, all these are decorative. That's a house that you can build in. And I think the one across the road as well. Um, I don't know if I... So a lot, of the, a lot of this gameplay here is just kind of regular gameplay. There's not really much happening here. I'm just trying to see if I'm looking around the world because there's like a, a lot of the world is just nice to look at. So that's what I was kind of looking for here. There's like 50 decorative cars. There's so many different cars. Like here's the thing. We obviously had like cars driving around the world in some of the other worlds. There's like VFX before, like, like these ones down here and like this one. Like you can see them driving around the other worlds. But they've made a lot of new cars in this one. Like, there's a lot of new models for vehicles. So they put time into making new vehicles. Um, like, obviously... We, actually, you know what? The boat might have existed already out in the lake. Because I think in... Maybe even Windenburg, those boats... I don't know. Maybe it wasn't Windenburg. I swear there's boats somewhere. But there's, like... There's obviously some of the existing ones. And I swear there's, like, different ones. It's like, they, they put time into this. You know what I mean? Uh, trailers could work like tents of the stove and toilet and a toilet building. 
Um, yeah, this is kind of boring. I think we're just talking about it at this point. Oh, there's, there's more world viewing. I just want to look at the world. I really wish I could just take control of the- I wish this wasn't a video and I could just rotate around and look, check out the world. Actually, what's the, um... Uh, I don't know what the- oh, I don't know what the hotkey is. So look at- see, look at the highway up there and everything as well. I think if we look... Look at this. How cool is this? I th Okay, wait, we're, so we're here. There's that house and I think that house there and then the rest- Like, how are- Like, these houses should be buildable. Like this, I reckon this whole cul-de-sac should be, you, you can only build on three of these lots. It's kind of annoying in that way, but I think, where is it? There, someone was mentioning. Zoom in here a little bit. Those tents there? I think there's a tents underneath the highway. Because I remember them mentioning like we were, we even snuck in like little, little tents under the highway to sort of represent the, sort of homeless aspect of LA, which really sucks, but it's interesting that I even put that detail into this world. Like, this world is super detailed. Like, I mean, look at this thing. It almost just looks like a continue. like, I don't think we've ever had a world like this before. Um, and, and in the sense that it looks like, if you built a house here, and then you just took a picture of the whole place, you, like, you can't even really tell which one the lots are. Like, I can't even really tell which one the lots are. I know it's this one and that one, and I think it must be this one here. It's one of the ones across the road. And it's really cool, and that's why it's a shame that there aren't more lots, because the world is so cool, and I wish we could use more of it. Hey, thank you, um, Momo Lean for the two-month, uh, resub with Prime. Two months of watching your streams. Hey, thank you so much. It looks exactly like it's LA. It's insane. I know, right? It's actually really, really cool. Like, really cool. It's a really cool world. Yeah, and look, and look at this. More, um, more vehicles down here. More trucks, uh, right there. Like, that's new. That never existed in the game before. Like they're, they're doing a lot of vehicles in this. <laughs> like, a lot. <laughs> like, come on. And, like, all these have, like, driveways set up for them as well. Uh, you don't like how empty they are and how restricted we are with where we... What do you mean, empty? How do you mean... I don't know what you mean by empty, because, if anything, this world is not empty. <laughs> um... But I wish it, I wish it had more lots. Like, look at this place. It, it is a stunning looking world. It looks really, really cool. Anyway, back into the gameplay. I don't understand why there's so many big lots in the cheap area. Would have loved more 20 by 30s here. Yeah, exactly. If we had like 20 by 30s or even like, even 20 by 10s and you had them like side by side, how good would that be? I would love that. And do like sort of the wall to wall buildings, like little townhouses like shoved in there and all that kind of stuff. I mean, empty is in, it's just fake set dressing and barely any lots. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing. Like, I wouldn't mind all the awesome detailed set dressing. And I, well, actually, no, I wouldn't say I wouldn't mind. I don't mind it. It looks great. But I would also love more lots. Like, there should be at least five lots. At least five. Because that's what most neighborhoods have. Side by side lots, no, no, yes, please. I know, right? Um, okay, this is kind of just boring gameplay. This is just me waiting and making a friend. Um, I kind of just want to look at the world more. Yeah, I, I zoomed out there somewhere. Like, I love that. How good does that look? This world is. Oh, damn it, I got lost it. What was it? Like, I think I went past it. It was here somewhere. It was here somewhere. I don't know. Like, it's a cool looking world. I keep seeing it for like one frame. Maybe I'll just let it play. Did I go past it? I don't know. That's the thing, actually. I don't know if I'm before it or after it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, there. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Like that, even though the background up there, with the mountain. Like that there. Oh, that's cool. Did I get sick like everyone else? Yeah. I think everyone got sick from Sims Camp. Because <laughs> we were so excited, so we all just decided to get sick. It's really cool, this world. Anyway, let's, um, let's go forward a little bit here. Oh, here we go. Now now we're actually traveling some. Okay, so here we are back in the map again. Um, so if you missed it earlier, let me, hang on, let me move my face. Move my face cam. Where's my mouse? There it is. Move me over here. No, you know what? Move down here, because there's nothing down there. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we've got... 
This is where we live at the moment. That's where our little trailer home is. Uh, then we've got the lot next door and then the one across the road. So we've only got those three there, which is annoying. And then there's only the three up in the hills as well. And then we have the five down over here. Then this we can't directly travel to, but that's where the uh, the big uh, movie studio lot is. We, oh, you can't really see my mouse there. The big movie studio lot is. Um, and you go there with the career. And look at this. They even have bloody cars on the map. Like, they've got limos on the map. And down there, and there, and all on the hunt. Stop putting cars everywhere. If you're going to keep saying you're not doing cars, stop putting them in the game. <laughs> Okay, like, I, I I, don't care what they say. If they keep saying cars aren't coming, and then they're doing this, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you. And then also, <clears throat> sorry, they changed the um, the travel icon too. Some of, I don't know if we can see it here anywhere. They changed, because the travel icon used to be a plane, but it, so I think someone pointed out there's now a car. I think maybe if I click on a lot, we'll see it. I can't remember how, where did it show up? So I'm just picking out where I want to go. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then like on the map, they even do this like really nice beach, but we can't, oh yeah, see, look down there. Now it's a car. Oh, no, my face is in the way, sorry. <laughs> now, see down there, it's a car. Like, come on. <laughs> even that's changed to a car. Um, and then, yeah, and then like on the map, there's like this big, beautiful beach area, but there's this neighborhood kind of looks like it's near the beach but it's not even there's not even a beach like how cool would it have been if these were like if this is a neighborhood here and those are beach lots like it, look, it looks really nice on the map but you know it would be cool to have that there and then the downtown area there looks cool too um yeah and that's a car as well so I, I, I feel like if you're not doing if you're not already working on cars let me just tell you guys this is me talking directly to to developers at this point. You have to, because it's too late. It's too late. You've put too many cars in the game now for people to not want cars. Um, and here's the other thing. Uh, well, not here's the other thing, but look at, look at the cars here too. Um, oh yeah, so here's the uh, the Hollywood or the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What is it called in this game? I can't remember. But this is actually really cool. So when you become famous enough, you can put your own like tile down and you can see the, the tiles of other celebrities here. So you can like sort of see them. Judith Ward was there. Thorn Bailey, and you can sort of deface them if you want to, like scribble them out and all that, uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, when you become famous, you put your own down there and it sort of stays in the world. Look at the cars! Mm. Mm. Oh, these ones are cool too. So this is the other thing, and this is what I was saying before. Uh, Starlight Boulevard, that's what it's called, thank you. Uh, this is what I was saying before, it's like, sure, I'd be like, yeah, there's cars driving around, but they didn't really do that much work on them. But then they've modeled these vans completely from scratch to put them there. And then they've made limos as well, because there was no limos anywhere before. They put time into modeling these vehicles. I'm like, come, come on. <laughs> How cool do those look? Um, yeah, and the, so the other thing is, I was like, okay, there's like all these cars everywhere. I was like, maybe they put them in Bidabug. Or with like behind the cheat so you could at least place them as decorative items and they're not even there i'm like if you're not putting them in bite a bug and look look at them driving around them damn it look at them going around the world like that if they're not in bite a bug and you've got them all in the world then you got to be holding them off you got to be doing that for a reason like and i but i i also get that let's say they're not doing cars ever right if you're making a world and it's in a city, you kind of need to have roads and cars to make it look like it's in a city. So it could very well be 100% decorative, but at the same time... I don't know. I want, I want cars. <laughs> Less lots, more cars. Yeah, that's the th maybe they put more development time into cars than, um, <laughs> than lots. Maybe that's why. Um, so this neighborhood, this like part of the world is actually really cool. I, I really like this area too. Like, and, like, look at the, even the surrounding area, and the highway down there is super cool. Like, I think that looks really awesome. Like, that looks, like, so much like LA. Like, this world, I think, like, um, next to, because of the last, like, sort of realistic, I guess, realistic worlds we got were maybe, like, World Adventures in The Sims 3, where we had, like, Egypt and, like, Paris and, uh, was it China? Um... Because, yeah, we had Egypt and I had, like, the pyramids and all that. Where they were sort of based off a realistic location. And then, like, this clearly... It, like, this is just... LA, this is just LA at this point. Like, you're not even... Um, 
this is this is not just a city. This is LA, like a hundred percent, and it looks really cool. Like that, how cool does that look? I wish I could just get a car, and just drive down there with W A S and D. <clears throat> LA, but somehow less cars. Yeah, they didn't put enough cars in here. There should be more traffic. <laughs> there should be more traffic. They should have had in and out somewhere. Oh, they got like a little motel there. That's cool. Even has gross smog. <laughs> yeah. It's really nice though. Yeah, so then this so this neighborhood has five lots, I think. So this one here. Where are the other lots? Oh, that one over there. That one. Is that one? Must be. It looks like a lot. I, can't, I don't know. You know what? Actually, no. I say must be. But then a lot of the, the sort of lots in the area are just they completely decorated. No, I think that is actually the gym there. I think. Um, so we are, I think, so this is just like a club kind of area. Uh, and then upstairs, this one actually has the, the bouncer. Oh, what happened? Why am I frozen? Oh, that's not good. Am I, am I still streaming? Hello? I don't, oh, now it's not frozen. What happened? Did I like freeze there for a second or did it just look like that on my computer? <laughs> You're unfrozen. Like, did it freeze on Twitch as well? That was weird. Wait, did, <laughs> did did it like cut out or did it just like keep going and you didn't really notice anything? I froze. Froze. Only for a moment. As long as we didn't, stream didn't freeze. Oh, like the stream didn't freeze, but like the frame like froze. Anyway, what I was saying, as long as it's fine now and we don't need to worry about that. Um, yeah, so upstairs, which we haven't even seen yet, upstairs has like the bouncer, um, which is a new, I think it's just a door. Like, it's just a door that you place that comes with, um, uh, the sort of little velvet rope, and you'll see it here. Uh, there you go. So it just, like, it's just a door that you place, and then I think when you go into live mode, a bouncer will just show up, like an NPC will just show up for the door. And then obviously that sort of segments this area as... You know, you have to be a certain fame level to get in, and you can... The weird thing is, though, like, you can just click on the door and be like, set fame level, one star. So you can just get... If there's, like, a five-star venue, you can just change the requirement. Which I guess is cool, in the sense that, like, if I want to just get in, I can't really be bothered trying to, like, do all this kind of crazy stuff to get in. It's kind of weird, though. I feel like you shouldn't be able to just do it in live mode. But whatever. Anyway, whatever. Um, but, of course, you can just bribe them to get in as well, so you can just be like, hey, here's some money. Let me in. Um, so I think in this case, I just try to convince them. Hang on, my face is... i got to keep moving my face. Let me go over here now. In this case, I just convinced them. I was just like, hey, let me in. I'm pretty cool. And they're like, sure. But I feel like, you know, it almost just seems like because there's no one there, they're like, we need someone in here. Just, yeah, you just get in, get in, whatever. Um, the weird thing is, though, and I hope it's just because of the way that these lots are built. Oh, this is where I'm like talking about roads, clearly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the, yeah, the weird thing is, uh, there's nothing to do in this, uh, this is just because the way the lot is built, there's nothing to do in there. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to when people build their own lots with the VIP areas, because they're going to be way better. Like, no offense to the Sims team, but the community makes some amazing lots. So there's going to be like these really cool VIP area lots, for sure. Um, I'm excited. I, w I wonder what happens if you place a VIP bouncer door in a residential lot. What if an NPC shows up, or if they just don't? Uh, completely froze video and all. Wait, is it frozen again? Or are you just talking about like 10 minutes ago? <laughs> they even have parking lots. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> With cars. Um, yeah, and then like the other lot that it, that has like the bouncer door. Um, yeah, the other, the other lot that's like completely, uh, sort of VIP. Like no one really goes to it. It's weird. You'll see it. I may, are we going to it now? There's a gym. Studio PvP must be the one. James has never froze, just a game video. Well, if the game video is froze, just because I paused it. <laughs> um. All right, so we're going. I think. I think we're going over to the uh, the other new one. Well, not the other new one. There's like lots of new ones, but the. Um, hmm. So this one, um, this one's weird. Uh, <laughs> Baby Ariel. <laughs> Baby Ariel's here! Proper celebrity! So actually, um, when celebrities are like a... Let me zoom in here a little bit. Do the good old zoom. 
when celebrities are a five star celebrity, they get this sort of glow around them with like little stars, and you you can toggle that, you can turn that off um, if you just click on them and say like, I think I might. Did I click on it? Click on it. Damn it, past me. Um, if you click on them, it's like disable glow, and you can just turn that off. Hey, thanks, think purple for the prime sub. Very appreciated. Can't wait to delete it. <laughs> wow, savage. Um, yeah, so you can just click on them, turn off the glow if, if you don't like it. It's kind of just an easy way to identify a five-star celebrity. Um, and even your, your own sim when you become a five-star celebrity will have that glow too. Uh, again, you can just turn it off pretty just... easily. So this one, yeah, so this is... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what... I thought I thought this was quite funny. Uh, Vlad is the bouncer here for some reason. He's just like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, so th yeah, this was like... So I could bribe him to get in. I think I only bribed him a dollar and it let me in. But like, I got in and then like, there's nothing to do there. And I think that's just partly because of the, this menu. There's not really anything in it. So I think when uh, we do our own lots and build our own things, it'll be a little bit better. But thank you, Muffin Kills You, for resubbing for two months. Very appreciated. Hit a song. Yeah, so it's like... When we got in, because there's a lot of like, so because Baby Ariel is here, um, and she's like a five star celebrity in this, a lot of like fans and paparazzi show up, and they kind of just hang out by the door, which I think is fine, and that's actually kind of cool to see like that sort of crowd appearing, but it's always kind of lame when no one goes in the venue, and then there's like no one inside. And she's just, <laughs> she's just really poorly playing the violin. Good job, good job, Baby Ariel. You're doing, you're doing, you're doing good. Um, Vlad sometimes is a bartender too. <laughs> He's always a bartender in my saves. That's how we can afford his house, is by being a bouncer and a bartender. Hey baby Ariel! Actually, so yeah, so when you have five star celebrity- Yeah, so actually there's the uh, the turn off fame shine. When you got the five star celebrities, it's, it's kind of like if you remember- I mean, it was probably in the Sims in Sims Three Two and then like Sims One, the celebrities. You can't really do much. You have to like try and introduce yourself, like attempt introduction. You can ask for selfies, ask for a hug, for autographs, and like pictures and all that kind of stuff. But you can't just do like the normal <laughs> interactions you would with like, a normal sim. <laughs> cool. I'm just yelling in her face, "Baby Ariel!" That's how I was in real life too. I was like, "Oh my god, Baby Ariel! Can uh -huh. I get a selfie?" I should have asked her for a selfie. Damn it. Then I could have been like, "Here's my selfie, with Baby <laughs> Ariel." <laughs> It's a shame. Ebbs. It's a shame that I didn't. Back in <laughs> um, so I think I think here I was just like, I wanted her to be my friend, but it didn't work. Oh, <laughs> that's so weird. Let me just take a photo. <laughs> like we're the only people in this club. I'm like, can I just take a photo? Cool. <clears throat> Game sound is a little loud. Sorry. Down. Down. Don't you want to hear me taking photos of Baby Ariel though? Oh yeah, so Vlad, because Vlad is the bouncer, so he like he will like fight people as well. <laughs> That's what was happening just outside there. Please turn the game music a bit. Please turn down. Well, I just did. <laughs> is it is it okay now? It should be a lot quieter now. I think. It seems really quiet. Um, I'm sad you and Deli aren't putting the game as extras. It'd be so good. Oh, that would be cool. That'd be cool if like. It'd be cool if you just saw me walk by on the street, but I was never really around, you know what I mean? Like, I was kind of there, here and there, but not really. But I'm not. So, you know. You can download me from the gallery and put me in the game, though. Um, oh, yes, back in our trailer. So I think, uh, where are we now? I might just see, because I think now we're just kind of waiting. We're waiting for the addition. It's not really much happening here. Oh, that car boat. Um... Maybe it's empty because there's no celebrities in the save game yet. Um, maybe. I don't know. Well, yeah, that's one of the things, like, as we play more, we'll see more stuff happening. Uh, so, oh, yeah. So, at this point, because I've just skipped forward, like, I've been to the audition, uh, which, again, is just... The audition is just something you sort of disappear to for the day, like a regular job, and you come back. Um, and it says, Audition pass. Congratulations, Samaj. You've acquired the role of pirate spokesman. The placement algorithm successfully predicted that you were naturally adept at passing as... An unkempt, violent human with barely functional grasp of language. Cool. So we passed the audition, and basically what that means now... Actually, you know what? Let me zoom back in again. Sorry. This is like a really clunky 
thing. But anyway, so once you pass the audition, then you then get uh, your gig, which is going to be tomorrow. Because I think in the game now it's what day is it? Monday. Yeah. So it's the next day. Starting at midday, we'll go along there. And in the meantime, we have like a couple tasks to do, like developing our acting skill, developing charisma. So we want to do that kind of stuff before we go, because that will give us a better chance of uh, doing the job well. And the better you do it, the more you get paid. So this is like the um, the median pay. And I think you can get a look, the, depending on how well you actually perform, if you succeed at the, the job, you can actually get paid a bit more or a bit less if you do worse, etc. So we want to do good. We want to do good. <clears throat> they say there's a glitch and maybe that's why they sound weird. Um, what do you mean sound weird? Like the voices? Yeah, I think, well, when I was playing this, like it, it sounds like echoey. And like like it's got like some reverb or something like that. But I think that was just the way the computers were set up. Um, anyway, so this is just me playing the game. This is just playing Sims 4. Oh, here we are. We're looking at some new things here. Uh, so I, I was like, because I was, I was just pulling out items. I wanted to look at some new stuff at this point. I'm like, I just want to see some new things. Um, so there's all this kind of stuff. I was just like pulling it out. I'm like, what can I put in here? Uh, oh, the green screens are cool. Later on, I do a build uh, when we get the mansion. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Thank you, Melissa Volan, for gifting five subs. Another five subs. That's amazing. A total of 35 to the channel. Oh, thank you so much. I'm sorry I sound so sick as well today. Like, I'm just like sniffly and coffee and I sound weird. And I apologize, but thank you so much for those gift subs. Um, <coughs> just dying a little bit. Um, yeah, what was I was saying, so yeah, I actually build a, like, a, a home soundstage later on when we get the mansion. I love watching sub bombs. <laughs> Subs for days. Yeah, it's so good. Thank you so much. Travel bug has claimed James. It's actually better today, <laughs> surprisingly, which is good. Hopefully it continues getting better because I got to go to PAX tomorrow, so let's hope. Um, yeah, so oh, the, green, the green screens are cool. So um, when you sort of place them down, you can just have them looking like a green screen still. Or you can, uh, if you click on them in gameplay, you can change the background and like change what it looks like, which is kind of cool. So you can just have it as a big backdrop or have it as a big green screen. And I'm really excited to just do some builds with them and make like studios and setups. I would love to do a like home um, studio kind of build. Uh, kindly Kelsey with a two month resub. Thank you so much. Very appreciated. I wanted to put the camera in there because I wanted to play around with it, but he couldn't get to it. And I was like, well, there's no really, po there's no point. Oh, why is it like laggy there? Um, yeah, I can't wait to do some like home studio builds and all that in the, in the game. Like, like I said, I do one later on. But um, we, like, I was like, I want to do more. I wanted to build more, but it's like, also I wanted to play the game. So I didn't really spend too much time on it. Yeah. It seems it's taught me a glass of OJ will fix it instantly. Well, orange juice is good for you because of vitamin C. Um, and I've been, I've been having, I've been having lots of vitamins. Sorry, all vitamins if you prefer. Um, to try and get healthy, so don't worry, I'm on it. I like how both you and Gluon did Swamp Pits. Well, the thing is, me and Gluon, well, first of all, we're great friends. And also me and Gluon were sitting next to each other while we were playing. We're like, hey, dude, let's build Swamp, let's build Sludge Pits. So we're like, okay. So we both did that. <laughs> That's why we both did it. <clears throat> vitamin. Yeah, exactly. I've been having some vitamin C and some vitamin other stuff, probably. I don't know what other vitamins are in what I've been having. I was like, what is that? Someone's like soaring. So if you can hear soaring, that's what it is. Um, would you uh, consider building a proper movie set when the pack comes out? Yeah, that'll that'll be cool. Actually, once we get to the... Uh, let me stop playing with that. Once we get to the the actual movie lot, I can talk a lot more about some of the stuff that happens there. Because that's actually really cool. At the moment, we've not really done much. Um, oh, here we go. We got to it. Join! So yeah, once the... Um, <laughs> I was like... Oh, you know what? I'll just send him alone. It's fine. We don't need to go. Uh, so, so once you actually get the gig, it'll pop up saying join or send alone. Obviously, we're going to go with them. Uh, or we can quit. Uh, so, yeah. We're going to load up to the lot. So, this is the only way we can get to the, the movie studio lot. Which, once it loads, we'll be able to see it. So, this is where all the magic happens. Uh, so, this is obviously... And, again, look at this, by the way, mind you. Dude, stop 
soaring. Can you hear that? <laughs> Is it just like me? <clears throat> Zinc helps combat viruses. Nice. Well, I don't think I have a virus. Um, because a virus is different to, um, just a cold. Um, but thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits. Very appreciated. Yes, you were here. Oh, which is annoying. Shut up. Because I'm going to turn this into a video later on. I don't want bloody... So Dude! Alright, I quit. I'm out. I'm, I'm out. I can't do this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Zeus is soaring. A cold is a virus. Well, a virus is something that you can never get rid of, though. A disease you can get rid of. Because a common cold, is that, a, is that actually a virus? So the humanity will always have it then, because you can't get rid of viruses. Dun, dun, dun. Zeus is trolling. <laughs> um, no, what was I going to say? I was talking about this a lot. Um, oh, yeah. So the thing is, they, um, <laughs> again, oh, God, I zoomed in too much. Sorry. I can't see it because the, the, it's like white and this the troll is terrible. Yeah, so there's more vehicles here. There's a truck there. They've got some limos. Got look, look at these little buggies here as well. Like, there's a lot of stuff around here. There's a lot of cars, a lot of vehicles. Dude! Not even funny. Have some kiwi. Or I just have like vitamins, which is what I've been doing. Um, it's a disease you can't. I thought it was viruses you can't get rid of. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. You can get rid of viruses. But isn't, um, no, wait, I'm Googling this. This is completely unrelated. Can you get rid of viruses? In general, you cannot simply, oh. <laughs> I just started reading this. I didn't read the rest of it. <laughs> okay. That was as stupid as Google ever. You cannot simply use Windows add a remove software tool to get rid of most viruses. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> uh, not the kind of virus I was actually Googling for. Uh, whatever. I give up. Anyway, let's, that's completely unrelated to anything. Anyway, the point is I have a bit of a cold um, and I'll be better soon. Uh, and I'm, don't worry. I'm taking care of myself. Um... <laughs> So this, um, this lot is actually really cool. So what I didn't know about this is hopefully I'll zoom in a little bit later on, but, um, so this is the actual lot here over here is this is all just like dressing. Your Sims don't actually use this, but I just thought it was really cool and it looks awesome. I kind of wish you filmed over there. Um, and yeah, all of this is just sort of decoration in the background. Uh, but it looks really, really cool. Doesn't it? Again, like I think all the worlds in this pack look real, all, all the neighborhoods, sorry, look really cool in this pack. Um, so in here, this lot actually changes as you progress through the career. So as you get promoted through the career, uh, it will get nicer and nicer. So starting off, I don't know if I'm going to zoom in here. Uh, hopefully I'll zoom in a little bit closer. Starting off, it's kind of basic. It kind of looks a bit not very nice. And I didn't even know this until they told me later on. But as you get through it, um, so stuff like... Oh God, can I just zoom in? Sorry, I've got, <laughs> got to wait for me to like look around. This is the problem with using existing footage. We'll, we'll wait till I get there. Can we build this lot with cheats? Yeah, I believe if you do the um, enable free build, we can um, you can unlock it and build and change stuff if you want to. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just waiting for me to get to where I need to go. Um, actually, so what I need to do as well, uh, I'm gonna move me there. I'm gonna get rid of this zoom thing. Because we have this up here as well. Uh, so yeah, so when you come here, it, much like uh, the detective or the science career or the stuff and uh, get to work, you have like your sort of daily tasks you need to do. You got your main task and then your sort of other tasks you can do. You got your performance bar. And obviously you want to max that out. Now, here we go. I'm zooming in a little bit right here. So to start off with, you have like this sort of food table. It's like pizza and hot dogs. But as you level up in the career... The, that table will actually change. It'll become nicer food. It'll become different food. It'll start looking a lot nicer. Like it physically changes to look different and have different food. And then uh, some of the rooms over here as well, if I get over to them, like the changing room, the makeup room and all that will actually change and become nicer and uh, a little bit different later on. And there's a few more empty rooms off to the right here. I don't know if we're going to see it. 
Uh, so like these empty rooms filled with boxes will actually change and become furnished and different rooms later on. So I thought that was actually really cool to find out as you become uh, higher in the career, the, like, the actual physical lot changes and stuff uh, sort of becomes a bit nicer. <clears throat> Already surpassed the acting career rabbit hole in the previous game. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually really cool um, that, that that kind of stuff happens. Um, if I move my face again, we can... Oh, <laughs> my mouse is on the video and I'm like trying to click on my face because it's... Sorry, anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to sit right here. So this, uh, yeah, that is like sort of one of the rooms that would change. And I even think, oh yeah, actually the other thing that changes as well... I'm going to put my face back now. The other thing that changes as well is... The actual cameras that they're using, you can see they're, they're using something, we'll get a better look later on. They're using the cheaper camera, um, like the, the cheapest camera in the game. And later on, they'll start using the more high-end cameras, they'll use nicer stuff. So like, a lot of the stuff changes. Like you can see even right now, this kind of looks a bit, a bit drab. And I think this room changes as well later on. And I think you get your own private like dressing room and all that kind of stuff, uh, which makes sense. Do you get free stuff for being a celebrity? I don't know you definitely do oh actually i think it is one of the perks i can't remember we haven't even looked at the perk tree yet um oh yeah so we're getting our makeup done and it's like goodbye beard and then like his hair goes blonde um so one of the perks is actually getting like sponsored items or something like that like you'll just get like so stuff will be delivered to your mailbox uh, and that's sort of i think that's more part of the um the social media side of it than the sort of celebrity but i think it is one of the perks if we start looking, if we look at the perk tree, we can have a pause and sort of have a look at this stuff there when we get to it. <laughs> James getting ready for his YouTube videos now. He has a million subs. I didn't do anything today. I mean, I look like really like shiny and sweaty. It's warm in this room. Um, so what are we doing now? I think we're practicing our acting because that's one of our little tasks to do. And then I think one of my other tasks is post to my Simstagram story. So that's what I have to do as well. Uh, so this is this uh, this lot is actually really cool, and I can't wait to see what it looks like as we progress through the career as well. Because I only I only saw this lot at the very beginning. Like I, we didn't get very far in my gameplay, but this is what the lot looks like. Well, not like that. It, it, it typically has more stuff in it. Because if I'm what am I do what am I doing at this point? I don't know. I did notice though. Um, oh. I got 12 new followers. I did notice though, and you'll probably notice this too, these lights, they're floating. And that's going to annoy the hell out of you now that you know that. <laughs> so, you know, enjoy that. Those three lights are floating. I did tell them that at Sims Camp. Uh, I did say, hey, yeah, these lights are floating on this lot, so if you could fix it. And I think this, that, I think that's what I'm doing right here. I'm like, hey, this is floating too. Because <laughs> my mouse is like, hmm. Uh, it's kind of hanging from nowhere, so yeah. <laughs> oh god, why would you say that? Well, now you know. Uh, so, enjoy. <clears throat> so, uh, once we've done sort of all these tasks, so we've got to do all those tasks. We also have to get into costume, which I'm not in just yet. Uh, then we have to... One of the things is eat food. Sure, that sounds good. I can do that. Why don't you have to point that out to us? Can't unsee. At least you can fix with cheats if they don't. Yeah, well, that's a thing. We can do that. And I don't, I don't typically like spoiling things that are coming up later. Oh god, my nose is so blocked, sorry. I typically don't like spoiling things coming up later in my video, but... A few of the houses in the Pinnacles just don't have toilets in the bathrooms. And I noticed that and pointed that out to them as well. There's like one house that has like three bathrooms upstairs that doesn't have a toilet in a single one of them. And I'm like... Um, I'm just like, uh, you guys know that these houses don't have toilets, right? Oh, and one of the stairs doesn't have banisters. I'm like, this stair just doesn't have any banisters. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, okay. And then one of the other houses also doesn't have a toilet in one of the bathrooms. But it wasn't three, it was just one. I'm like, uh, you probably want to fix that. But yeah, we'll see if they fix that for launch. I don't know. Uh, they, I don't know if they can or not. We'll find out. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, what are we doing now? Oh, look at that food. Yeah, so this this will change into nicer food later on if when you like level up in the career, which is really cool actually. So I'm excited to see. I mean, I wonder if it changes every level of the career, or if it only changes every couple levels or something like that. Because uh, especially right at the beginning, we only have 
uh, the ability to do commercials and like music videos. So I'm I'm really excited to see how like a feature length film would go in this because at the moment it's just like a one day gig. Like I wonder if the gig I don't I don't know if if any of you guys know as well. Um, like if you guys know because if you watch some other people's videos, if God stop soaring outside. If you guys know if like later on. If the gigs would become like two day things. Because I feel like trying to do a feature like movie in a day would be really hard. Because it took me like a whole day just to do a commercial. Like it's already 4pm. We're about to film it. Anyway, when you tell them you're ready, like the whole set changes. You can see the background set up. Um, and then you sort of click on this. So there's a few different things we have to do. You can see that we have to do... We have to perform the ship scene and perform the uh, show product scene. And then if I go back just a tad. When I was clicking on it, you can see we actually have... The risky turn wheel and then safe turn wheel. So, <clears throat> your I, th I'm going to assume that this will work no matter what. I don't actually know if that's true. Risky obviously is going to be harder to perform, but if you have actually prepared down here, so if you've done your prep tasks, you're very you're much more likely that the risky uh, one will actually work, and then you'll end up getting paid more because you did something that was more impressive. But if you haven't done your prep tasks at all, your skills are low, and then you do the risky one, you have a much greater chance of failing. But the failing uh, sort of animations, uh, they said are really funny. And that's kind of where a lot of the fun animations are. So I would suggest trying that even if you haven't, you know, prepared. But that's sort of, that's how that works. And that's how the risky sort of aspect of it works. So you can see actually as well, um, you can see what the icon is here. So like the icon for that was our prep task for the acting skill. And uh, Shibzlm with a two month resub. Thank you so much for that. <clears throat> what does he mean when he says Zeus is soaring? Well, it sounds like someone's soaring outside. They're like building something. So we're just pretending it's Zeus soaring. Um, anyway, yeah, so the uh, that little icon sort of tells you which prep task it was for. And you can see the other one has the little sunglasses, which was the uh, charisma prep task. And we've done both of them, but I think that one I just did like the, you can see I just did the normal one at that point. You have to make choices just like on set for real. Yeah, it's actually really cool. So then uh, you can see here, we're gonna perform our task. So this is a commercial for, what, soap suds or something like that? I don't know. And then so we'll start performing and then all the people on the other side, I don't know if I turn the camera around or not, but he'll start doing the actual scene. Uh, damn it. Damn it. What am I doing? Turn around, damn you. <laughs> you can see there'll be like the Sims, you can see behind the cameras, they're controlling cameras, directors sort of sitting in the chair. Um, and you, it's actually really cool that all the Sims actually gather around in sort of the right spot. Because I feel like the Sims... The Sims is one of those games where they just kind of do whatever they want a lot of the time. So, and, and even though it's expected that they should be all hanging out behind the cameras, I'm impressed that they actually are and they're not just walking somewhere else. Um, so, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're, we're doing the other little scene here. As you can see everyone's sort of standing behind there with all the lights and the cameras. And yeah, like I said, so later on, all those cameras and the lights and all that, they will actually change and become better quality. All the equipment becomes better. And that will change as we level up through the career. But obviously we're seeing the very beginning, so it all kind of looks a bit crappy and all that. Um, yeah. So that's that. Ooh, perform the mop scene. I will. <laughs> Sims are doing what they should be. What? <laughs> anyway. So flipping the mop around, doing some brushing. Look how good they're cleaning. You can clean the deck of your ship. Amazing. And then so there we've completed our performance. And then once we're done with the workday... We can, I think you can either just keep hanging out here if you want to. You don't have to go home. Because you can. Because there's obviously a lot of stuff here that you can sort of practice with or interact with as well. Um, oh, actually, something that is really cool, which um, I didn't really mention. So this stuff... So you can see, like, this here. And this here as well. These are actually fences. And the cool thing about it is, like... So this is the same fence as that, but it's just a different color. The cool thing about these... Is, actually, that one might not be a fence. I don't know. Anyway, this is definitely a fence. The cool thing about this is it actually prevents... It actually acts like a fence. So Sims can't actually just walk over this, even though it looks like you can. But it's like basically like a tape saying, you know, walk around here. So you can actually use it to direct your Sims where you want to walk. Um, 
which is cool. So it just acts like a fence, but it doesn't look like a fence. It also has a lot of different color choices, which is why I thought that might also be it. I mean, it might be, I don't know. Um, it has a lot of different color choices, just like a white one or a black one as well, or a lot of different colors, um, or this one here, like you can see, for example. So it just, it kind of just looks like tape on the ground, uh, which is really useful. So you can use that to sort of, uh, you know, tell your sims where they can and can't walk. And I thought I'd just use a, the, this is a music production station here, uh, where you make your, sort of your tracks and all that. Uh, so here we can see that uh, we can either go home or we can stay here and hang out a bit more. Uh, so this section, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Oop, is that too much? That's too much. Sorry. <laughs> Oop, sorry. Sorry, it's like so janky. There we go. Uh, yeah, so we earned 500 bucks. I think if we had done a bit better, because we didn't do the risky interaction on all of the acting. I think if we did all those, we could have earned a little bit more. Um but yeah, so that is, so then we finish off the gig there, we get paid, we've kind of done everything that we need to, uh, so we can then just go on and head back home. And then that, so that's our first gig. Uh, and then if we want to do another, another one, we sort of apply for another one. And uh, we haven't been promoted yet, so we're going to get the same sort of gigs again, like music videos and commercials. Uh, but as you get promoted, you obviously get different types of things. You get like the TV shows and soap operas, which I haven't been able to do any yet, because I didn't get that far. Now... I don't know if I really do anything here. Do I actually, do I look at the, um, I'll look at the perk tree. Open auditions, do I select, oh yeah, so I actually selected the, uh, a music video to do in the next one. I was trying to see if I, uh, what else I'm doing here. I went to the museum, the museum is lame. <laughs> I don't know, why are museums lots in The Sims 4? They're lame. Oh, baby Ariel's here. What's up, baby Ariel? I'm trying to skip through, because this, this is nearly the end of this clip, and then I've, I've got more clips, obviously. I don't think there's really anything happening in this one that's new. Hey, baby Ariel. How you doing? Whoops. Sorry. Oh, no. Oh, zoomed in. Sorry. Let's listen. If you like the new world looks dull, I think the new world looks super detailed. I don't know. I mean, I think... I think the lots like that are built are kind of lame and we probably probably be better off replacing them with the, like gallery lots but I think the world itself is anything from like far from dull. All right, I think um I think that's the end of this clip. So I'm going to close that. Well, I'll leave that there. <clears throat> uh dull is in the colors not the detail. Oh yeah, no. Oh, actually you know what? No, I don't I don't even think that's true. I think the world itself is nice. I think the, some of the lots are dull. I can tell you that much. All right, what's this? What happens in clip clip number two? Don't MP4. Hey guys, welcome to clip two. Um, where's my mouse? This is sorry. I'm just like only 14 minutes. I don't think I do much in this. Let's find out. I'll put my face here though. The lighting seems dark and dull. I mean, you're in LA and it's hazy and it's supposed to be a dirty city because LA. I'm not really sure what happens in this. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we really do any acting in this. I'm sort of just skipping through it. I mean, you can we can sit here and watch this if you want to. Oh, do I, um... Oh yeah, so this, I don't think I ever got to this. So this is the, um, a normal event. This is obviously a new event, Starlight Accolade. So it looks like an award show. I don't think I ever got up to it. I'm not really sure what it does, but it's something. And I was like, oh, that's new. Uh, what else do I do? I mean, we can sit here and watch this if you want, but I don't think it's really worth it. <laughs> Actually, well, did I get anything interesting there? Cause I know later on in the mail we get some interesting stuff, but I don't think I did actually. I think it was lame. Blah blah blah. Just regular playing Sims. I'm traveling somewhere now. I went. Oh, I went over to her house. Her house is lame. Uh, then we're at the gym. Oh, actually, this is cool. So, oh, actually, so what I did do, and I, I, I cut out because I was cheating. I think I've cheated my Sim up to be a. I don't know. No, I think I might be a three-star celebrity at the moment. So I've got all these fans showing up and paparazzi now taking photos of me. I'm just working out at the gym, just like, yeah, yeah, oh uh, yeah, this is just me at the gym. You know, like I do in real life, obviously, all the time. Um, <laughs> this is all these people here. Um, I can fight the paparazzi, I can bribe them to leave. Um, you can, like, take selfies with your fans and all that. Uh, you know, just Samaj at the gym. Don't worry about it. Now this is cool. I don't know when I do it, but you can um, you can make your fans swoon. I think that was what the interaction was called. Oh yeah, make fans swoon. 
<laughs> so you do like a pose and then they all like think oh my god and then they just all faint and fall on the floor and i thought it was really funny like, oh my god ah! and then just like wait for it Dunk. <laughs> it's, it's the dumbest thing but i think it's so funny they only pass out for like a few seconds you see they get up in like a second or two um so it's not it's not like super annoying in the sense that like if you did that and then like pass out for hours dude what are you soaring? <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so they all start getting up pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I thought it was quite funny. So, and there's a, there's so many sims here as well. So like, I kind of so I started like trying to get their their attention. And I was like, okay, if I just start like doing stuff here, I'll, you know, flaunt my wealth, get my money phone out. Wait, wait. I think how Vlad is there as well. Vlad the bouncer is here too. There you go, just talking on my money phone. <laughs> and they're all like, oh wow. Oh wow, look at some eyes. And I was like, okay, let's do it again then. I was like, I want to make them all swoon again. So they all just like collapse in like a circle around me. They like, pose for some pictures as well. You know, just... Mm -hmm. Feel free to take my pictures, guys. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh man. Vlad is fan girl. Vlad is fan. Look, there I am. Just like... Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hey Dally, how you doing? Um, there we go. So then I was just like, because I want, I wanted them, I wanted all the Sims like around me in a circle, and then you had to go for the uh, make them swoon. And then I was like, this is actually a good way to like, you know, if you're being harassed, make them all swoon, make them pass out, and then you just run away and you leave because they're all passed out. <laughs> also, can you stop soaring outside? It's the most annoying sound. And so loud. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oh, swooning. And three, two. Dunk. <laughs> Didn't get everyone. Almost. You know, we're close. We're close. It's so, it's so stupid. I love it though. Um, and then I, th I think that's kind of all I did in this video. In this, because this is just a short clip. I go back home and I do nothing. Oh, I th this is where I was taking screenshots of the house for the house build video. So that's not really anything. Uh, so that's that video. And then I think the next one's the next one. Where's my... Oh, mouse is... <laughs> keep losing my mouse. The next clip is two minutes long. What the hell is this? Hang on, let me zoom out. Zoom out. There we go. Uh, what is this? What am I doing? I don't think there's really- is there anything in this or am I just like traveling? Oh, I moved- I moved to the mansion. Okay. So I moved here to the Pinnacles. Look at that view! Again, I, I love the look of the world. It's, it is really cool. I just wish we had more lots. The soaring isn't awesome. It is not. It really isn't. Um, yeah, so this is uh, I think this is the largest lot? Is this the 64 by 64? I think it was. So that you have this whole like sort of area up here. And then that's another lock down there, and this one just down over there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a shame that they didn't have any actual, like, cliff lots or uneven terrain lots in this world. But I'd probably put that down to the fact that the terrain tool was probably still being made when they needed to, like, finish this world. So I'm hoping the next world we get will have some uneven lots. Because every single lot in this world is flat. Um, so right here is actually... This is... So there's actually a couple of... Uh, different vaults in the game um, in the sense that we have a vault door which is just here which is just like a normal door you place on a wall and you can like lock the door and only your household can unlock it so no no other sims can go through there um, and then there's a vault object as well which is a bit which is different the vault object is the one that you can place your money in and you can sort of lock other i guess you could lock sims in there too but the other the vault is you can place your money in there you get the big money pile and you get you get to do the uh money pile woohoo as well um oh look i just cheated myself to make myself better uh i think here i was just cheating to get up a little bit uh so that was the end of that clip and then we go into the next one excuse me still a little bit blocked nosed uh oh god it's okay so i keep <laughs> my mouse is on this monitor and i keep looking at my other monitor and it looks like it's there because of the preview it's not though uh so the next clip is 26 minutes. How exciting. Hang on one second. This one is another bit of building. Um, 
so here we are in the house again. Let me just go for a look. Oh, here we go. We're finally looking at the perk tree. Jesus, that took a while. So I, was, I think I was just cheating up some skills and all that. Um, so actually, yeah, just here. Let me go back for a second. Uh, within the little tab down the bottom there. So this is where you get your sort of reputation. At the moment, I'm very neutral. But you can get like a really sort of... I don't know what it's called, like it's a positive rep reputation or a negative reputation. And with that, you actually get different uh, perks that you can get. So if we look at the perk tree, um, so these three here are just like one little different columns that you sort of build your way up with when you get fame points. Uh, and then over here is like, if you've got a good reputation, these are the ones that you can get for being good reputation. Or if you've got a bad reputation, you can sort of use these ones. Now... Um, over here is this sort of quirks and these are something that you actually just get by playing. So as you get famous, you will get sort of, I guess, quirks that give you kind of like weird or potentially kind of annoying ones. So at the moment I've got the phone fanatic, which means that if I don't use my phone a lot, cause I'm addicted to my phone, just like I am in real life, if I don't use my phone enough, then I'll get like tense. So then you just have to use your phone. Uh, and then the other one is Vane Street, which I think was, if I don't look at myself in the mirror enough, <laughs> then I get tense or something. But if they do get annoying, you can just remove them. Um, and I think, I can't remember how you do it, but you can just get rid of them and get different ones later on. So you don't, you're not stuck with them, but they're just like something that adds a little bit of a, a little bit of a twist. So not everything is super easy being famous. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, uh, I don't know what I'm doing at this point in terms of yeah so I mean we could go through read all these but I don't think um I don't I don't look at all of them so oh you know what I kind of want to see what these are though you know what while we're here let's let's uh read some of them um so yeah it like requires you to have bad reputation um so let's see anytime he behaves in a way that the public dislikes he'll lose reputation even faster this bad behavior can really become a hallmark of Samaj's public persona. That's actually kind of cool. So if you've already got bad reputation and you want more bad reputation, you can build it quicker. Which I guess maybe was the same as that one. What was the other one? Go on back. Here we go. Has helped him establish a foothold in the public eye as a charitable and kind celebrity. Having built his fame upon the bedrock of positivity, he'll now gain your reputation even faster. Additionally, he can now donate various objects from his home to his legion of fans. Okay. It's <laughs> kind of cool. What else do we have? So there's that one, the bad reputation. I don't know how much of this I actually look at, which is why I didn't really want to read them all. Career Hopper. Oh yeah, so this one was, he'll increase, uh, enjoy increased job performance and faster promotions as bosses will want to keep him, keep their famous employee happy. <laughs> of course they do. Of course. Um, definitely a Samaj trade. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think at this point, uh, I was just, I think I just almost used all the perks, I think. Because I kind of cheated a bunch of fame points. I guess we could. You can go through and read all these if you want. I'm not going to read them all now. Be here forever. All night. Oh, actually, all nighter is a good one. So, if you're busy doing something, you can click on your sim and they get tired. You can click on your sim and say, uh, "Have an all like pull an all nighter," and then it'll just give you full energy again, so you can keep going. So that one's actually kind of cool. And then I can't remember. There was another one. Um, oh yeah, other sims will start to notice Samaji's outfit. Don't be surprised to see. Uh, Sims, uh, what? Hang on, I, need to, I can't read that. What does it say? Sims aping his style. That's why I couldn't read that. What the hell does that mean? Aping. Anyway, uh, and strutting through the streets in similar threads, which is quite funny. So you could wear a stupid outfit and people will be like, yeah, cool. I'll wear that. Um, oh, this one's cool, actually. I wanted to do this, but I never really got into it. So lifestyle brand. So Marshall now be able to use a computer to launch and maintain his own personal brand, which can become a reliable source of daily revenue. Be sure to keep the product lineup fresh as the income will slow to a trickle if his brand doesn't stay relevant with its target order. That's actually kind of cool. I wanted to play around with that a little bit, but I, I didn't actually get to that. Anyway, continue on. Aping means copying. Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I guess I kind of inferred that from context, but I've never heard that word used. Is that like a common thing that people say? Or is that just something that they've put in the description because they want to be fancy? Um, yeah, so this is the, the perk tree. Obviously all the perks do a lot of different stuff. Uh, we just read a few of them. And you can sort of mix and match them. You don't have to use all of them if you don't want to. So this is... Uh, I would. I really want to... We're going to have to do some cool house builds up here at some point. Because I'm, I'm not a big fan of this house. i got to be honest. 
I mean, it's just, well, you know what? I was, say, I was about to say, it's just black and white, but then a lot of my builds are also black and white. But my, hey, my builds are not this black and white. Mine are a little, little bit more, you know, colored than this. <laughs> um, okay, so I actually, you know what? Can I, I might actually do a playback speed. I might speed this up a little bit. Uh, how do I speed? Faster. Do that. How, how fast is faster? Play, go faster. Or is this just going to start glitching? Speed. Faster! I mean, it's pretty glitchy. But the only reason I'm speeding this up is because I am just building at this point. Oh god, that's so glitchy. We can't do that. <laughs> Playback speed. Uh, normal. Maybe go, if we go a little bit faster, it'll probably be okay. Let's just go faster. Kind of, do I, oh, speed is 1.1. Okay, that's not that much faster. Hang on. Speed, faster! How come it doesn't show me the speed up there? No, it just starts glitching out at this point. Look, I'm not really, uh... Show me what the speed is. It's really not, is it? Just trying to work this out. Pokemon. What is the hot key? You know what? What is the VLC? VLC hotkey playback speed. Because that'd be easier than trying to click on that every time. Uh, or do I have to set it? Speed. Oh, okay. It's this. Oh, there we go. If I go two times speed, maybe that won't be too glitchy. Oh, God. That is so glitchy. Pat. <laughs> Okay, no, maybe 1.5, how's 1 point, no. How is it so glitchy? It's just an MP4 video. Why is it so hard to play it back faster? Huh, all right, well, is there a better way I can do this? Because I just don't want to sit, we don't need to sit through the whole thing because I'm just building, but I don't, I also don't want to just jump through because that's really lame. Maybe, uh, I don't know how to do it. Well, maybe Premiere could do it. Let's try Premiere. Give me a second. Oh, you know what? I might actually just do this while we, <laughs> while I sort it out. <clears throat> it just really wants to show the whole video. Yeah, I don't. You apparently, can't even play like a video at one point five times speed without it like glitching out massively. So I'm just gonna try opening up Premiere Pro, and then if we just play the clip in that. Yeah, here we go. So if I put this up here. Is this? Let me just check. This is the right clip. Yeah. Okay. Mute. We don't need audio. Speed duration. Say, we don't need to go too fast. Uh, cause it's only 26. I'll go to like 200%. So that'll be faster, but not like crazy. I'm gonna do this. Now, I might. The problem with this is. If we go here, it's not very big, is it? Can I like. If I move it here. Look, no one said this was ideal. That's not too bad. Sorry, right. we got like we got like a little bit of a border around it, but whatever. All right, let's try this. Is that working? I think we're working now. Oh wait, I skipped forward so far. Hang on, sorry. <laughs> All right, hang on. You know, like where? Was it? Okay, we did that bit. We did that. Blah 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 blah. We got up to about here. Okay, so what I wanted to do here we are. Hey guys, James here today, and welcome back to another house building video. Uh, that's not what it's going to actually be, but anyway, um, yeah, because I was like, I wanted to do a little bit of building, because this is actually my second session, um, and I wanted to build, so we, we got the mansion, we're a five-star celebrity, I was like, I want to have a home studio, I want to have my own sound stage on the lot, we got like plenty of room, so I was like, okay, let's, let's see if we can build our own uh, sound stage, and we're also using a little bit of the new uh, build tools in the sense that you can see the rest of the house is actually on a foundation and then this room is not. This room is built directly on the ground so we're not on foundation, which I thought was kind of cool. And we sort of play into that in a little bit. We do like a little bit of a bridge over to the pool area that you can see there. Um, so at the moment, I'm just trying to fit this stupid green screen in because it's huge. It was bigger than I realized. So I actually needed a three-story room uh, because I was going to change the wall height but the wall height still changes per level, not per like cluster. So like I didn't want to ruin the rest of the house. So I was like, okay, I'll just build a three level like sound stage. 
and then from there but you can put the big green screen in because what I wanted to do is have this giant green screen in there use the sort of YouTube streamer table have that sort of on the middle floor and then have this giant green screen behind it I was like that's kind of cool it was a bit of fun so that's what I wanted to do and this is the kind of thing that I actually want to when I get more time to be able to build properly I would love to be able to do this um in like in a proper build and do something really cool why is the green screen so big because it's for movie studios it's for like movie sets that's why it's not like it's not supposed to be a, it's not like a little elgato home green screen it's like a proper movie set green screen and the other one's even bigger but you can scale them down they still work perfectly fine um even with the backgrounds like they, they scale down fine but the thing is i wanted to use the full size just because it's kind of ridiculous and it's a little bit of fun so i was like let's let's see what we can do with it <clears throat> um yeah, so I even did like the sort of curved roof for like a, a sound stage on the top as well. So I, uh, what I wanted to do here is I wanted to put the, the green screen in there. I wanted to leave a little gap to the side so we could have the door coming in there. Because I wanted the entrance to be from where the pool area is just behind it. And I was going to do like a catwalk up the top. Uh, like a, so you come in on the catwalk, come down the stairs. And like, I don't know, I was having, I was having fun with it at this point. I was like, I want to do this. So I had to create like a little space here to be able to connect. Because we have... So the, uh, yeah, the, the soundstage and the, uh, the pool are different heights, which we can join with stairs, but I have to like build like a little section here that we can actually join them together. So that's what I was trying to do. Um, it's a weird, it's a weird house though. I can tell you that much because it's like this weird pool. It's like almost kind of infinity pool. That, like this pool is on top of a room and then there's nothing in the room below it, which I actually ended up putting a money vault down there because I was like, why not? Let's put it under the pool. That'll be fun. There should be a mini green screen without resizing. Um, I mean, I guess, but you can also just resize the green screen. Or you can even just paint a wall green. There's also that. Uh, I think so. I think what I just did there was actually... Re I needed to move the foundation up one so I could fit my stairs in here. So, oh, I love I love that we can do this finally is have like just, I don't know, just different heights. <laughs> I miss that so much from Sims 3 is having like different heights um, and, and like just building. I can't wait to see if they, I really want them to add in like full on um, split leveling and all that and be able to join the room see that. Cause if they, if they can do that and if they do it, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, so this is just where I'm doing the door into the uh, little sound stage. So you, this is, I wanted this to be the main entrance. You'd sort of come in here and then you know, so you can see it's sort of next to the green screen and then I spent a little bit of time trying to build a catwalk and I keep messing it up and you'll see that as I struggle. Um, <clears throat> Del Sol Valley is disappointing, just my opinion. Um, I, I really, the, here's the thing. I've, we spoke about this earlier at the beginning of the stream. I think, I think Del Sol Valley as a world is really, really nice. Like every neighborhood looks so good. It's so detailed. Um, and it, it's, I think it's disappointing that there aren't more lots because I love the world so much. And then that's why it's disappointing. Like, because I want to use the world more. But the fact that it only has, like, six residential lots, I think that's why it's disappointing. It's, just a, it's a shame. And I think, I think it's also because this is, like, the first sort of residential world we've had since, essentially, Brindleton Bay, which was, like, a year ago. Because we had Selva Dorada, but that was a travel world. And then Seasons didn't have a world. So I think that's why it's, like, kind of... It would be nice to have more lots. It, I think it's just strange that they would almost seemingly not really want to use this world that much because if you put less lots in a world it's almost like yeah we don't really want you to use this world you know what i mean like it seems like they put so much work into designing the world and everything around the lots that wouldn't you want more lots i don't know but i i really love the world but it's yeah it's disappointing that there aren't more places to build <laughs> but oh well what, what are you gonna do enjoy what you have make what you can with it and then there'll be a new world soon. With cars, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm making my own studio lot. So right now, I this is uh, in one of the mansions in the Pinnacles in Del Sol Valley. I wanted to create my own home soundstage. And that's what I'm doing. So, like, I wanted to... This is basically just a live streaming studio with a, a giant green screen. It's a three-story, like, warehouse sort of building. And I'm doing, I, I love, I love all these kind of like studio lights, like these sort of um, uh, light 
uh, like sort of all the like the rails with the lights hanging off it. I love those. And then they have all the huge like uh, softbox lighting and all that as well. You can see here, and then like the spotlights and all that. Like I love all this stuff. So here, basically, the idea here is that on the second floor we got like this little balcony, and we're going to be doing uh, the uh, the sort of streamer <laughs> slash computer setup there, and it will sort of like look over the balcony to the. Uh, <laughs> to the green screen. Um, hey, Daniel, Daniel E. Bell 88, <laughs> the 300 bits. Thank you. Uh, hey, Jay, I'm so excited for this stream. Well, thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, this is what I'm going to build when I'm super rich. I'm going to build a three story soundstage, have my desk in the middle with a three story green screen behind it. Um, no more custom green screen. Oh, do you mean like we don't need a custom green screen? Yeah. If that's what you mean, yeah. Um, and like I said earlier, you can scale that down um, if you don't want a three-story green screen and it still works fine. Uh, can you get all the camera equipment and build by it? Yeah, so you can get all the cameras, um, like the high-quality camera, the low-quality camera, all that kind of stuff, uh, and build by and just use them. And same with all the lighting on that, which is really, really cool. So that's why you can sort of build all this stuff yourself. And I did just put in the, the money vault. Uh, just I snuck it in over there. I also wanted to build a way more in-depth like vault and this is oh, i really want to do this like in the we're going to do this in in the mansion build actually we got to do a level that has the vault and you go through multiple like sliding doors and all that like to <laughs> you know like in um and all those sort of like uh what do you call them like like spy movie kind of thing i don't know spy movie or like whenever they're trying to break into a vault they have to go through like multiple doors and like all these different verifications and then at the end is the vault that's what i want to do and I kind of did that in this, but like a way smaller version. I didn't, really, I didn't have much time or room to do it. So I was like, I just did it quickly. And I was pretending. <clears throat> can the sets be customized? I mean, you can just build whatever you want. Um, there's obviously the huge set pieces. Um, but then you could also just build walls and just build whatever you want, really. Because um, on, uh, on the movie studio lot, if you just do free build, you can, you can change it uh, up however you want. What's going on with the weird lighting showing up on the floor? What weird lighting? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, did, you, did I enjoy the gameplay of the pack? Yeah, I did so far. I mean, I didn't... The problem is we, we got four hours to play. I would have loved way more time to actually play it. Um, but what I played so far, I enjoyed. But I almost feel like... Well, I don't feel like... I, I It's going to be... So the career uh, that where you go to the movie studio a lot and you do all that kind of stuff, I think that's going to be really, really fun. And I think it will be really enjoyable to play once. You know, like, I, f I feel it's just one of those things, again, that you're going to do it once. Like, well, you might, I mean, you might do it again later on, but I don't think it's going to be those, that thing that you're going to be playing all the time, you know? And and I, I, don't, I, mean, I hope that the gameplay that comes in the rest of the pack is enough that it's still going to be fun you know, a year down the line, like I'm still going to be playing with the other stuff. Because there's obviously a lot of other stuff too, but the, the main thing in this pack is going to the movie studio and playing the career. But it's one of those things that you're going to really enjoy the first time. Are you going to enjoy it the second, third, fourth time, you know? I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I have to wait till it's, we've played it a bit and see how we go. Um, yeah, so this is, there's a lot of like these giant set pieces, which is cool. You know what would be cool actually? Using the set pieces, scaling them down and making like a little dollhouse out of it. <laughs> <clears throat> um, what am I looking forward to the most? The terrain tools. <laughs> oh, I want to use the terrain tools again. I miss them. Uh, yeah, so this is the... So the vault... So this is the um, the vault object. Um, so there's also... There's a vault door you can just place in walls. But this is the object where you can actually add money to the vault. Like, So you can deposit your money into the vault. And so it'll like, leave your inventory. And it'll be like a physical thing in the vault. It'll be like a pile of money in there. And then you can also woohoo in the money pile. Which we'll do a little later on. So this is what I was talking about. I just did like a few little rooms. So it's like you go through multiple doors. That's all I had room for. I didn't do much with it. Oh, and I found this like little... Um, little live lights so when, like when you're recording the lights like there I was like that's cool I want to use that as well James Lewis looking forward to the free patch yeah as if you're not looking forward to terrain tools it's going to be so good um, can you build on the studio lot or just be interactive well it's like the um, 
the hospital or the police station, you can build them on them. But you just need to use the the free build cheat. Like by default, you can't just end up build mode, but you can cheat and build on it if you want. Sounds like the doctor career. Yeah, well, it's like the doctor or the science career or the uh, other one, the, the detective. I think they're all fun. Probably the first time you play them, but. Oh, the video ended. That was the end. So that was the end of the building. Um, yeah, it's like it's like any of the active careers. I feel like you enjoy them once, or maybe twice, but I don't know how much replayability there's going to be out of the acting career. Uh, let me just say that. All right, so we have one more clip. It's forty minutes long. I can't remember what we do in it, but let's find out. <laughs> let's find out. Oh, we oh we do the money we do the the money vault woohoo hell yeah. How much more footage do I have? Oh, okay. I, I literally just answered that. So there you go. You're welcome. Um, I hope there's at least two gigs before promotion. Well, I think I did two gigs and I didn't get promoted. So I think there's even more than that. Um, and actually, that's the thing. Well, here's the thing. So the, I can't remember how many they said there was. Because obviously there's different gigs you do. I can't remember how many different ones they said there was. So there, obviously you do different. You're not doing the same one every time. But I, And I think every time you go... You don't always do your makeup. You don't always do your hair. So there's different stuff that you do when you're there. So it, it, it does vary it up like that. But even so, that's why I can't really speak to whether or not I'm going to like really love to keep playing that sort of career until we play it more, you know? Melissa Volop, the 1050 bits. Thank you so much. Very appreciated. Um, yes, yeah, so at the moment, I'm just building a little vault area. <laughs> <laughs> so there's my doors that you walk through. <clears throat> um, no, I don't think that's a thing at all, uh, Robbie. It's just purely like, you've made a movie, done, bye. Um, but then, like I said, there's the other stuff. I'm not really sure how it works. Like, There's like the award events and all that. And I'm not really sure how all this stuff works. I don't know. The thing is, I need to play the pack way more. Four hours is not enough to play the pack, especially when I'm building for like half of it too. Because I love building. Building takes ages. Um, yeah. So that's a thing. You still can't keep the books I write without a mod. <laughs> that's dumb. Uh, okay. Do we, we don't really need to see me trying to place stairs, do we? And then placing a computer. And then... So, the, oh yeah, actually, so here is the, also actually this lot is like bugged. I don't know if it's just me um, or other other people at the event. Like you'll see when I rotate the camera sometimes, the camera just like jumps up and I kept doing that. Anyway, so this is what I was talking about with the green screen. You can just like set a background on it. You can leave it like just like looking like a green screen or if you, you actually just want to have like a set background, you can just like click one and then you see it will change to that background, which is pretty cool. It's a bit of fun. And then that sort of be obviously more obvious when you go to the movie studio a lot and the whole background changes there, which is pretty cool. I mean, obviously it's not really how a green screen works, but in real life, but it seems. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the uh, the good old uh, what is it? video station or something like that. Uh, so this is where you do your YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff. You can do your 24 hour charity streams, which actually, by the way, I'm going to be part of a charity live stream. I'm not sure how long it is this year, actually. I don't know. Uh, but if you guys remember Generosity, they're doing it again this weekend at PAX Australia. And Zeus and I are going to be doing a stream on that in The Sims 4, raising money for charity uh, on Friday, 11 a.m., I think. 11 to 1 p.m., I think. I'll post more information about it on Twitter soon and probably on my community tab and all that. But it's going to be really good uh, raising a bunch of money for charity soon in real life. Um, that just reminded me of it. Uh, yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff on here that you can do. So it starts off as a really basic little station as well. And then the upgrades actually give you like better camera, better lighting, um, all that kind of stuff. So it's actually kind of cool. It's pretty cool to play around with that. And I'm, I didn't play around with it too much uh, at the event. And that's something I'm going to be wanting to do more of. When I actually get there. Oh, also, this is broken for a while. Uh, my sim couldn't get there. So I'm just going to skip forward till I fix it. There we go. Um, so what happens is, once I eventually get my sim there, 
Uh, so you go to the station, record a video, you choose what you want to record. I selected a confident vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Oh, I still can't get that. Wait, I think you could. I think it was just being weird. Uh, oh yeah, I'm a five star celebrity, so I'm glowing. Uh, yeah, so he goes there, you can see he's like recording in front of the camera. Uh, and like, oh yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. The camera goes, Dunk. I don't know why it does that. Um, he's got the fattest, like, also that's the most annoying setup. Oh God, my nose, hang on, someone. one sec. Um, I hate when you have like multi monitors, but like one of them is like <laughs> way smaller than the others. Like... I, I've been there. But having the same monitor is so much nicer than two completely different monitors. Also, look at the bezel on that monitor. That's a fat bezel. Um, yeah, so this is <laughs> this is the first setup. You have like this little tiny desk mic. I guess that's a microphone. This little sort of pocket cam. A little light there. Uh, and then later on, you get like a big boom arm mic like this. Sorry, that probably sounded terrible. Like this. And then like proper like lighting and all that. It's actually really cool how you can still see it upgrade as you go. I wonder if the monitor's changed and all that too. You know what? I don't know. I'm actually, I don't know that I really do much. So, oh yeah. <laughs> New, hottest vlog. Check out my sweet merch. James had a double T slash store. So you do that. And at this point, I didn't actually realize that once you do that, you still actually need to post the video. So I hadn't posted it yet. Which I don't think I did for a while. I don't know if I really do much. So I'm always skipping through, but nothing actually really happens here. Uh, we do go do another gig though. So that's what we might as well skip forward to this. Like being at home, just doing stuff is kind of boring. Uh, why do I talk so much? Uh, hey, Andrew, it's because I'm explaining everything that's happening and what's coming in the new pack. I mean, I could just let you watch footage for two hours, but it's kind of boring if you don't know what's happening or any backstory behind it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. But that's why I talk so much. Um, actually, let me move this because let me move my face as well. Please stop talking. Oh, whoops. Uh, well, no. Uh, this is probably not the stream for you. Oh, also, I didn't even realize. Why did no one tell me that I didn't fix the... Um... Whoops. Sorry. That was like that for ages. Reset transform. Um, let me move. Oh, damn it. Why does that keep moving? Stop moving that. I'm trying to move my face. There we go. Um, I think you zoomed in. Yeah, now you, now you told me I'm zoomed in. <laughs> uh <clears throat> Uh, anyway, yeah, so the so this one is our music video one. So this one's a little bit different to the other one. Oh, no, this is not the music video. I No, I canceled the music video. I actually started a different one. So this is a uh, something to do like it's like a doctor set. What are we doing? Rehearse a scene with it. So this one we have to rehearse our scene with our co-star. Um, and you'll see. So we're like at a little hospital set. I don't think I... So even though it's not one of my um, tasks to get into costume... But I think I probably still should have done that. Uh, like, it, I didn't have to do it for one of my daily tasks. So I didn't. And then I end up just wearing my everyday clothes in the set. Um, rather than <laughs> changing into to my outfit. So I actually just end up wearing my t-shirt and shorts for the, the gig. Which is kind of dumb. Yeah, so I rehearsed the lines. Oh, I'll turn up the volume a little bit. Actually, something here. And then I'm going to get my notes from my director. Uh, actually, so at this point, I am a five-star celebrity because I cheated myself to be that. But what I didn't do was advance myself in the career because I totally forgot about that. Because I cheated my skill, my acting skill, and I cheated my um, my celebrity status, but not my job level. So that's why we're still. This is still the basic setup of the lot. Like I was saying before, all the stuff changes as you get higher up in the career. We're not quite there yet, uh, which is a shame. But that just means when, we get, when the game actually comes out, we'll have a look at that more then. <laughs> I won't even watch a video with no commentary if I wanted that to just play the game. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, I mean, I'm just explaining it for you guys. So, yeah. So, this is our set, which is actually kind of cool. So, again, so, like, this changes every time you come, uh, depending on what gig you're doing as well. Uh, but if you do enter, if you do enter the bb.enable free build cheat, you could go into build mode and completely change that set if you wanted to, just for fun. Um, but it does change every time you come back anyway, so it wouldn't save. I don't know how that works with the rest of the lot if you change stuff. I don't know if it just sort of resets every time you come back. So I don't know if, if, if you change the whole lot, what would happen. Um, but you could definitely change the set for the time being. But yeah, it's kind of done. I probably should have gotten to my, my uniform and my costume because I'm just... It, like, look at my outfit as I'm, as I'm being the doctor. Mm, good job. 
But yeah, so you can see it is just another gig. Just another gig. Having a good time. Do a Let's Build series for it. No, I, like I said just then, I don't think that would actually be a good idea. I don't know how it works. I think I might have to, I'll have to ask them what happens if you do that. What are we doing now? We're doing the tell a joke scene. Yeah, tell it a joke. What a good joke. Um, so that's that. I don't know that anything else different happens here. Uh, there's our little movie studio lot. I mean, we've kind of seen that bit before. Didn't earn so much this time, actually. Only 400 bucks. It's a bit of a shame. Oh, yeah. So here's the money vault. So this is really cool. So I was trying to... So you can actually... If you lock other sims in your vault, what is cool about that is it's... I don't know if there's a new death or not. Or if it's just they die from hunger or something. But if you lock them in the vault, their needs actually start dropping faster than they would if they weren't in a vault because it's almost like they're suffocating. I don't know if it's actually a new death but it's a new way to kill sims anyway and they die quicker in the vault um which is good anyway so i'm adding in fourteen thousand dollars to the vault and you can see now if i zoom in if i zoom in there's a big pile of money <laughs> and you can woohoo it oh there goes the camera yeah there's something about this lot in the camera is just it was driving me nuts and you'll see that it keeps happening to the camera and i i try to stop moving the camera so much so it doesn't happen but it keeps happening. Anyway, so then I do woohoo. We're going to do money pile woohoo, guys. It's going to happen. Um, and I was trying to lock her in there after we woohooed, but I couldn't I couldn't do it, guys. Like, she kept walking out. It was really annoying. But I, tr I tried. I, I, didn't get, I didn't get the death, but we did get the woohoo. <laughs> so we'll be doing that in just a second. What's the point of the vault, though? Um... I mean, it's cool. Like, it's it's an, it's like... Because you know how money in The Sims is always that thing where it's like, cool, you have lots of money. Well, what do you do with it? I mean, now you can buy a vault and put your money in the vault. I mean, like, why not? It's just a thing that you can do. You got, like, gold bars in there. Like, it's cool. And you can woohoo in the money. <laughs> As you'll see right here. Here we go. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Now, if someone applied that texture to the ball pit, that'd be cool. Yeah, so... And then I, oh god, the camera man, this lot. I, I was like, and then I think I looked around. I'm like, what is going on with this lot? Why is my camera messing up? It's annoying me even now, just watching it happen again. It's annoying when you can't lock your partner in a vault. I know, right? There you go. Do you reckon they use the same um, animation that they use for the leaf pile? I don't know. I'd have to compare it to the leaf pile. I can't remember what it looked like. It looks similar. <laughs> they come out of the money. Now that's, that's goals right there. Woohooing in a pile of your own money. I mean, might ruin the money, but... Oh, I guess if it's like plastic pa like pl plastic money, it'd probably be okay. Just clean it. Um, yeah, so then I was trying to like stand in the vault and like, I was trying to say like, call it. I was like, you know, try to chat and then like, chat here. And I was trying to get it there for ages. Didn't work, so I'll skip forward a little bit because nothing really happened there. Um, oh, this is where I realized there was no toilet in that bathroom. And also this bathroom just has two showers for some reason. Uh, it's a weird lot. Oh, yeah. So and you can also woohoo in the uh, in the pods. The new, so the new sleeping pods. Um, I'm not really sure if there's a difference in sleep if you go in a pod. I mean, surely there must be. Wait, let me get... What did, what did it say when I clicked on it? Did it have anything different or was it the same? Because I didn't, I didn't really look at the stats of those. If they are better than a bed or... Maybe you get your energy up quicker in them or something like that. I don't know. Click on it. I want to see what it said. Is that an elevator? No, that's just a, that's a vault door. So you can get the vault as an object or just as a door. Uh, oh, you can upgrade it. Maybe you can upgrade it and add some of the stuff. And there's also subliminal slumber, which I'm not sure what it does, but it's there. So yeah, there's some other stuff on there. Anyway, you can woohoo in it, which you'll see just now as well. Of course you can. So a couple of new woohoo spots. I don't know if there's other places. Uh, there's definitely these two, the money pile and the pod. And again, the camera. Sorry, you keep... This lot is just, it doesn't like the camera here for some reason. There it goes again. <laughs> the pods from In the Future were pretty cool. I don't even remember those at all. <laughs> so the, the, yeah, there's a pod woohoo. That's like what you're into. Sort of floats back and forth and yeah. Oh, good to see him here watching this with you guys. 
Oh, we fell out. Um, I like how they add items for woohoo. Of course. If the pods are rocking, don't come a knocking. Well, the thing is, if the pod has hearts all over it, don't come a knocking. Um, I don't know if I'd really do anything else new. This is me just trying to lock her in the vault again. I think my money's kind of in the way. I probably should have taken the money out of there and then, because there's not enough room to stand in there, I don't think. I think only he could get in. Same animation as Coffin Woohoo. Except, they're not, oh no, they weren't bats in the Coffin Woohoo, in Coffin Woohoo, were they? Oh, actually, so here's where I got some more, um, <clears throat> some more gigs, but I don't think, I think I'm still level one in the career. I, I don't think I even got promoted yet. So we got more gigs, but I think they're all still like level one gigs. And I don't think I actually do another one. I think I end up just doing um, the video production skill. And then here I go through and sort of start, because I cheated my hand in this, because like I want to upgrade this. So you can see, like I said, we start off like really basic. And then I'll sort of skip forward here, because we don't really need to watch me try to upgrade it. Uh, can we go back? Where is it? Sleeping in the pod. Shiny. Oh, and there's a drone as well. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Can I see what it looks like upgraded? It's going. Um, God, that camera, how it just like jumps everywhere. I think I'll go back to it later because I, I don't think I do it yet. Anyway, uh, where's that drone? Yeah, so there's a drone now I'm out of that. Uh, so the drone can be used for like, you can record videos with it. So like at the moment I'm like recording myself running or whatever the hell I'm doing. So it, like will follow me, record a video and you can also use it to live stream. So you can see it's at like end recording. Um, and you use that, so you use that to make a video, then you use a video production station to edit that video. You can do video effects and like um, do, what else can you do with it? I don't know, there's a bunch of other stuff. I think we have a look at it a little bit later. Um, <clears throat> So I, I don't know what I was doing. I was just running around with it. There's not much happening. Uh, and then I, what do I do? I go over here. Oh, oh yeah, this is where I add, because I'm a five star celebrity. I don't know when you get it actually. Maybe it's five, it must be like five star. But then you can put your, like I said, ages ago, you can put your tile down here on the, uh, whatever. What was it called? People told me, I can't remember what it was called. You guys said earlier. But yeah, you can pick a tile, whichever one you want to do. Uh, you can either just place the tile or you can do do a placement ceremony and then a bunch of sims will gather around. They'll all like cheer for you and you'll like place the tile down. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I did do a ceremony. So I'm kind of just waiting for everyone to show up. Um, so get faster. Because they, they take ages to show up and then there's like one sim. Hooray! And then I'm just like waiting. Starlight Boulevard. That's what it is again. Thank you. Yeah, so as a five-star celebrity, you can place your tile here on Starlight Boulevard. Faster. I mean, I guess I could just skip through. Oops. I guess I could just skip through the video because this goes on for a while. Okay, then I get a nice crowd. And then I realize that I've got a crowd, but I think the interaction by this time has like timed out because it took too long. <laughs> so I wasn't even doing it. Oh yeah, there are also meet and greet events, which I actually do in a minute. And you'll see we do a meet and greet. Um, we hold we hold that at a, at a bar or something like that, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, so at this point I'm like, oh, it didn't work. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to place the tile, whatever. Um, so I go ahead and place my celebrity tile, uh, and you'll see. Okay, I don't. I don't know why I selected it like five times there, but apologies. So he goes down there. He's like, oh, the tile. There it is. Oh. I kind of wish that they like did their little hands in it as well, but so he placed the tile there, and it's got your name on it. And I was like, you know what? I feel like it's gonna get defaced anyway, so I might as well deface it myself. So there it is. That's my tile. My Samaj Renrot tile. I can pick up the star as well. I can move it if I want to. Um, so that was that. Once you become a nice celebrity, you can do that one. And then, oh, it's not a, wait, what was I doing? So this is a paparazzi that's hanging out at my house. <laughs> I just created him with a hand buzzer. And then I think, uh, oh yeah, because I was actually looking at my uh, aspirations, see what we could do with that. What am I doing? Oh, I was like contacting PR agency and then I think I was like, run a good story or something. Get on a oh, I was like, get on a celebrity guest list. And I was like, oh, that would be cool. We'll get to go to like, be like a party or something. And I was like, no, he just like disappears and comes back later. I was like, oh, okay. Um, and then I actually do, so an event that you can actually hold uh, once you're famous enough is a fan meet and greet, which is, I mean, exactly as it sounds. Getting famous uh, means attracting more, inter uh, and attracting and interacting with fans. Hold a meet and greet and give me the perfect opportunity to smooch with your soon to be loyal followers. Um, so I do that. It's kind of weird though, because I, I was like, um, hang on, I'm trying to get to it. It's kind of weird in the sense that you have to like, oh my God. Go back. 
Where, where is it? Why, why have I missed it? Yeah, here we go. It's weird because it, because it's like planned like a party. You have to like select the fans that are coming. Yeah, exactly. You select your fans. I was like, that's kind of weird. Does that mean I have to know my fans? So it's like you have to like personally invite them. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Shouldn't they just show up? I don't know. Maybe they do just show up anyway. And then I wasn't even sure who my fans were while I was here. Because because there's like sp uh, certain things I have to do. It's like be asked three times for a selfie. Deal with paparazzi three times. And then like the actual uh, event goals up here is like sign autographs, tell stories, pose for pictures. They have to be done with the fans. But then half the people here aren't fans or aren't, like aren't here for the, the meet and greet. I was like, I was kind of confused by that. I don't know if I just did it poorly and maybe I should have done it somewhere else or whatever but anyway so that's a new type of event slash party kind of thing that we were doing blah 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 nothing really new with that it was just me struggling trying to figure out how to and then I failed the event and I didn't do well because I didn't know what was happening anyway oh yeah so here we go now it's upgraded a lot so we got like the ring light we got two of these like big like lighting panels as well you can also see we got that sort of boom microphone I know like we're zoomed out a lot at the moment um and as you get, like, the skill gets higher and higher, there's more options, you can do more editing, you can do more effects, um, all that kind of stuff as well. So I'm just making sure to upgrade my station all the way. And that's kind of, like, I didn't, this was, like, getting really close to the end of my time, and I didn't have much time to do it. But yeah, this is kind of what it looks like when you're doing a video. Like, look at the lighting on me! Almost as good as this lighting, although it's actually a little bit overexposed on that side. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, a little overexposed. Um... Yeah, so you can see like that there, and, like as he's recording, like the whole screen has like animations as well. It's a really cool little setup, and you can see, yeah, there's a the microphone. It has like a little remote thing down there. Um, yeah, the camera changes as well, so there's like a camera upgrade, there's lighting upgrades, microphone upgrade, all that kind of stuff on the uh, setup. It'll do some sweet vlogs. Like imagine if that was my background for videos, it was just a huge like warehouse. Maybe I should just put up a green screen and just do a huge warehouse behind me. Do I have lights in my setup, like my real life setup? Yeah, I got a lot of lights. I got like five lights in here. I should upgrade it. Uh, um, yeah, so that's that. Oh god, the camera. See, like it's just this lot. Something about this lot, the camera is all over the place. Um, I don't think I really do anything else. I do some production stuff, but I didn't really do much with that. Like I need more time to actually get into this. So yeah, so your videos will show up in the inventory here. And actually there's also... So one of the upgrades is storage space, because you can only store a certain amount of videos, I guess because it's like hard drive space. Um, so you can upgrade that so you can store more videos, so you can sort of make more and like edit more in one go and all that kind of stuff. And then those will be there, then you post them, and then I think every day will sort of like give you money, I guess? I don't know. Like, like I said, I didn't get very far into it. Um, I would have liked to have more time with it, but that's pretty much it. That is like all my footage. I know I sort of skipped through this last one quite quickly, but we didn't really do much in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> one more upgrade IRL smart green screen. I, I have a green screen. I just don't, I don't really like using a green screen, to be honest. Um, all right. Well, that's pretty much it. That's all my footage uh, from Sims Camp. And that's all new stuff that I have to show. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you missed any of it, just go back in the stream and you can see it again. I am going to edit this stream into a YouTube video as well. I don't know if it'll just be one video or what, but I'll sort of edit it down with all the highlights of it. Um, but we'll hang out here for a little bit at the end, um, like right now. If you have any questions of anything I missed or anything you want to know, if I know the answer, I'll answer it. If not, I won't answer it because I don't know the answer, obviously. Hope you get better soon. Well, thank you guys. Me too. Me too, because I'm flying tomorrow to Melbourne. So I really hope that I'm better for that. <clears throat> um, is this going to unlock? Sorry, I'm just stupid... Cause I got a new, I got a new phone. I got the, I don't know this is unrelated to anything. I got a new phone. I got the, the 10s because, um, when I was in London, I was using my iPhone six plus and it was super laggy and I couldn't use it for vlogs or videos or anything. So I was like, oh, I'll just buy a new phone. Cause my, my other phone, my the seven plus, if you remember, I broke my seven plus just before I flew to London. So I didn't have time to get it fixed. That phone's already two years old. So I was like, well, I guess getting a new phone is not the worst thing. Anyway, the point of that was I got the 10S and like face ID where you have to like look at the phone and like sometimes it doesn't work. I'm like, so if you see me like doing that, it's like me trying to unlock my phone. Anyway, um, anyway, uh, how much money can the vault hold? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know if it's unlimited. Uh, I only put 14,000 in there. We were able to get the money pile. So yeah. <clears throat> 
When you look at the camera, it's like you're making eye contact with me and it's very strange. Is it really strange when I talk directly into your face? To your, <laughs> me talking into your face. Ugh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, do you know if teens can be famous too? Yes, because... Oh my god, hang on. <clears throat> uh, yes, because Baby Ariel is a teenager and she's a five-star celebrity. So yes, she can. You can be a famous teen. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't be able to do the career because that's an adult career, but... You can be, you can still be famous for other stuff uh, in the pack. Like you can get fame from doing a lot of stuff. Like it's not just being an actor, but obviously the interactive career is acting. Uh, I need to rest my voice. Well, yeah. The good thing is, like, all my videos are already recorded until, like, November. So it's it's all good. So at least I don't have to do too much talking with videos. Obviously, we've been talking for the last few hours on stream, but. But it's not too bad. It's just like normal talking. No babies or toddlers acting. No. Uh, it's obviously, it's, it's an adult career. So adults acting, I assume. <clears throat> we should let children do the acting career. I mean, I think it's one of those things where it's like... I mean, how would you do it? Like, I know how you'd do it, but like... Obviously, child actors in real life, there's a lot of, like, restrictions and regulations around it. So then, do you do that in the game? Do you restrict it? And then if you restrict it in the game, that just start getting annoying. But then it's like, if you don't restrict it, then it just seems irresponsible to not portray it that way. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. There's just adult acting, obviously, with the career. I don't think children can be famous. I don't... Maybe, well, you know what? I don't know. Don't ask me that. <laughs> you Don't ask me that. I don't know. Um, yeah, no, um, yeah, don't, it's okay, guys. You don't need to give me, um, health tips on being healthy because I actually did, um, speaking of lemon and honey in whatever you said in water or something, I don't know. I bought, I bought a bunch of stuff. I got lemon and lemon, honey, uh, no, lemon and ginger tea. I got some kombucha with ginger. I got uh, a bunch of vitamin. It's all good. It's, it's all covered. It's not my first cold, guys. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, thanks for doing my review live. It was lots of fun. Well, just as a note, this was not a review. Um, because I didn't really review anything. I was just showing you my footage. Uh, but I'll be doing like, I'll do, I'll do a review of the pack when it's actually out. Uh, this is just me going through my footage and showing you what I have. I, think, I mean, I gave my thoughts and opinions, but it wasn't so much of a review as it was just like, here's what I got. I hate these fancy teas. How do you guys drink them? I'm drinking them because I'm sick and having a lemon and ginger tea is good when you're sick. <clears throat> Um, how long is my layover on the way home? I mean, not long. Uh, because it's, um, it's not even, I don't know. It was just, um, because I just flew, uh, like Qantas QF2. So all the way from London to Sydney. So it's like, you stop in like Singapore for like an hour and a half. So it's like barely any time, really. I got off the plane and then was basically back on it pretty soon. Overall thoughts on the pack? Um, well, so, I mean, so far, don't, don't take this as like, my final opinion because I've only played it for four hours and that was at an event not at home um and I'll give obviously a full opinion when it actually comes out and I get more time with it but so far I think it was really fun and I'm really excited to build with the stuff but like I said earlier I have to wait and see what it's like playing that career as time goes on especially like even when the pack is out like I'll really need to like I don't know how replayable it's going to be you know I don't know that's just something to keep in mind as well um, have you got the LP ideas yet? Yeah, I've got an idea what I want to do with the LP. I just have to plan out how exactly I'm going to do it. I think the idea is we'll use the um, the seasons uh, Rags to Riches family, and we'll use so we'll have Lady be rejected completely from the family, completely neglected, and she will become the actor and celebrity. And she'll do the career. And then the rest of the family will still be there. Um, and then we'll probably use Richie. He'll become like a famous chef. 
because that's what he wants to do. So he'll be doing that on the side. And then as the family, as, as Lady becomes more and more famous, the family tries to get back into her life because they want to get her money. Maybe because the family starts not earning as much money and they've got this huge house they can't afford. So they're like, oh, let's mooch off Lady. I don't, I don't know, some, something along those lines. Uh, we'll see how we go. I, I, think, I think it'll be fun. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the current plan anyway. You know, the rest of the family can leech off Lady's success. Yeah, exactly. Lady deserved more. The thing is, Lady is going to be... Everyone, I don't know, people seem to feel sorry for Lady Big Oil at a second. But the thing is, she's going to be the most independent. And the, the sim that's always kicked out. See, here's the thing. You think that this family's neglecting her. You know, like, every Big Oil generation has neglected their children, right? They've all been kicked out with no money. Like, if anything, Lady has more attention from her family. Like, she gets to live in a mansion already. She has her own little bedroom, you know. Like, she's actually got it pretty good... <laughs> <laughs> like that's, the rest of the family is more rejected than her. <clears throat> Lady should have been doing something really stupid and losing a lot of fame. So she, oh, the thing is, I we need to do like because the fame has reputation as well. Maybe, maybe oh, you know what? I guess because there's good reputation and bad reputation with fame. Maybe Lady should have the good reputation, and then uh, Richie will become a famous chef, but he'll have bad reputation. Oh, it'll be good. It'll be good. There's, there's plans. There's plans here. What am I most looking forward to get famous that isn't training tools? Um, well, I think the career, like the actual acting career and doing all the gigs and getting into it. Because I didn't, like I said, I didn't get very far in it. We only did like a couple gigs in the in the gameplay. So I'm looking forward to doing like the, the TV shows and like the soap operas. And then when you do the feature like the movie and the sets get way bigger. And I want to see what the lot looks like as it gets better and better because... Uh, the buffet table is going to change. The rooms are going to change. There's going to be more rooms and different stuff. So I think it'll be cool to see how that works. Um, see how we go. <clears throat> Richie is the next Gordon Ramsay. Ri Gordon Ramsay doesn't have a bad reputation though. I know what you mean though. Like he's he's known as the chef that's like swearing and all that. But like it's not a bad reputation. Gordon Ramsay still has a good reputation. I really want a pop star career. Yeah, I kind of wish it was like um, singing and all that as well. That'd be cool. And then like performing concerts as one of these other things. Oh, I, I think the the whole acting in the movie studio lot actually looks awesome. And I, I definitely want to play that more. Seems like they've done it really well. All I wanted was ladies LP. <laughs> Richie is the next Raw Rawdon Gamsey. <laughs> Lord is forever an infant. <laughs> yeah. Forgot Lord existed. I think we all forgot Lord existed. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave this here because I think I, I, I kind of... Uh, I'm not saying a lot, lot more questions about um, Get Famous. But if you do have more questions, um, I because I'm going to edit this stream into a video, so you can always post it on that and then... Uh, so here we go. And then like a bunch of other people have posted a whole ton of videos as well. Um, there's a lot of content out there. If you go to like uh, Sims Community, like the website, uh, there's like a whole page with like links to everyone's videos from Sims Camp. So if you need to see more, there's going to be lots more. But this is all I got to show you. Um, yeah. Benadryl comes back as an actor. Oh, that's actually what I wanted to do as well. I think I'll just put him in the world and I'll just make him a celebrity. Like an actual celebrity and just have him in the world somewhere. That'll be fun. Maybe you can put him in like a mansion in the Pinnacles or something. <laughs> you can register a career job title now. Oh yeah, that's right. You can make like custom job titles and all that. Hey, Ryder's Mama. Thanks a hundred bits. Very appreciated. All right, I'm gonna leave the stream here, guys. Thank you so much for coming along. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this early look at some Get Famous stuff and some footage and all that kind of stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, there'll be more, obviously, when the pack is actually out, November 16th. Yeah, I think that's when it's out. So we'll do more then. Until then, back to regular boring on Sims 4. Oh, God. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> Hope you have a good day. Hey, Jackie, your tears. Thanks for the 100 bits as well. Very appreciated. Thanks, guys. I will see you soon. Oh, also, my charity stream. Uh, it's going to be on Generosity Friday. I'll post more information on Twitter and community tab, all that kind of stuff. But stay tuned for that. We're going to be playing Sims 4, raising money for charity soon. So 
you can come along and support that as well. That'll be around this time of day as well. Because we start like 11 a.m., go to 1 p.m. So this is like smack bang in the middle of that stream. So it'll be around this time in like two days time. So stay tuned for that. I'll, I'll post more about that soon. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.